Today, we are going to be building the best underground security tunnel. Oh my god, I love security tunnels. Me too, Don, and we only have 10 minutes to build it. Which side do you want to pick? The incredible purple side or the poopy green side? Of course I'm going to pick the green side. I love green. All right, and I'm going to get the purple side because purple is a way better color. All right, Don, you're definitely going to lose. All right, now let's build the underground tunnel. So let's set a position with our wand and we'll go all the way over here. Now let's dig down right here and we'll use this command to make a huge area for our first room. Now, of course, we need to change these blocks, though, because I hate dirt. Dirt sucks. So let's click here and we'll go over to the other side. And now using this command, we'll make the whole floor diamond block much better so we'll just do this on every wall as well and that's the second wall that's the third wall and that's the final wall okay now this place is looking so much better but we still need a roof because this is an underground tunnel okay and now our first room is pretty much complete so it's time we add an entrance what i'm going to do is break these three blocks right here to make an entrance to the underground tunnel but the thing is this is going to be a fake entrance to trick dawn and keep him away from the real entrance so what we're going to do is break all these blocks right here let's keep breaking and that looks good. Obviously, we have to get rid of this dirt, though. And of course, we'll change the dirt to diamond blocks because they are so much better. Now we're going to have to trap Dawn because this is the fake entrance. So I'm going to place fake water all over this hole like this. And now when Dawn enters through the middle here, he's going to fall straight into the fake water like this. And it's going to do so much damage to him. But obviously, this water is kind of easy to escape. So we need to have a way to keep him in as well. So I'm going to place these barrier blocks all around the water pool to make sure Dawn gets stuck in the water and now our fake entrance is pretty much complete all we really have to do is place some green carpets around it because don loves green so this will make sure he chooses this entrance first all right now it's time to build the real entrance to the tunnel and i think i'm gonna put it here so first we are going to need to build a ladder that goes all the way down to make sure don doesn't die of fall damage and since this is the real entrance i'm gonna place purple carpets all around the entrance so that don definitely doesn't check this area since he hates purple and now that we are inside of the tunnel we need to make this thing look more like a tunnel because right now it's a room so let's build another wall right here and we'll set it like this and now let's build another wall like this on the other side and the only way to get out of this room is going to be through this keypad door so don is gonna have to find the code and i think i'm gonna make the code 0001 because that is one more than the code i made last time so there's no way he will guess it and as you can see if we enter the code we are able to get through the door like this so now let's find a place to hide the code a good place to hide the code is up near the entrance because there's no way he would look here like look how hidden that sign is there's no way he will see that when he goes down the ladder and now i think we should be able to build a little area right here and we'll also put a wall on it because we need dawn to walk this way first before entering the room the reason we want that is so that we can give him some gear for what is about to be in the room next so let's place some dispensers on the ground and we'll get him a set of iron wait no i think we should give him something even cooler lapis armor that sounds really cool let's give him some of that and we'll also give him a diamond hand axe and now let's place all these items inside of different dispensers Dispensers, and then we'll put a pressure plate on top so Don can actually get the gear. And now, as you can see, when I walk over these pressure plates, it equips all the gear, just like this. Okay, I'm not really sure why the pants didn't work, but we'll ignore that. It's good enough. And the reason I'm going to give all this gear to Don is because of all these skeletons that I'm spawning to guard the door from Don. Now Don will not only have to find the code, but he has to get through all the skeletons if he wants to escape. This is going to be so hard, but I don't think that's going to be hard enough. So let's make another room like this, and what we're gonna do is change the floor to lava so we can make a parkour that dawn has to complete to get through so let's put a jump like this another jump like this and we'll also put a jump here and i think we'll put a three block jump near the end because dawn is really going to have trouble on that and let's put the final jump right here and now we have a sick lava parkour for dawn to complete to get to the next room and for the next room i think we are going to go down so let's just dig down here and we'll dig a ton of this area out so we can make a big room and now let's just use this command to remove all this stuff oh wait there's lava i think we have to try that again and yeah that is the perfect size for this next room so obviously we're just gonna remove all this dirt because dirt sucks and let's also remove the dirt on the walls and finally we'll replace the floor with diamond blocks as well oh and let's also remove these lava particles i don't really want those up there and finally let's place some water on the ground here so dawn doesn't die of fall damage when coming down okay now we obviously need some kind of trap for this room or this wouldn't be a security tunnel so the next trap we are going to make involves mines basically if dawn steps on one of these it's going to be really bad so he's definitely gonna have to be careful and we're just gonna build a huge pathway like this all the way to the end of the room out of these mines and now 
Don is going to have to be really careful he doesn't stand on one of these, or else he's going to have to go through the whole tunnel again. So let's make another door right here at the end, and I think we'll just use a wooden door, because Don has been through a lot at this point. And let's just dig all the way out here, and we'll keep going. And now let's go up a bit, and let's use the cut command again to get rid of this, and I think that's a good size for our next room. Obviously, we just need to add the diamond blocks. And for the floor, we are going to do something a little different this time. First, let's turn this whole layer into lava like this, and we're going to turn the top layer into some glass blocks like this. Oh, and let's also get rid of the dirt on the side, because I hate dirt. And now when Don walks in this room, he's probably going to think he'll fall through the lava, because the glass is kind of hard to see. But that's not the trap we are going to make. Instead, we are going to make an invisible maze. So we'll just start placing a bunch of barriers like this, and we'll keep placing the barriers until we have a giant maze. And I think we'll build the pathway to the exit first, just to make sure our maze actually works. Let's keep placing these blocks. Oh my god, this maze is going to be so long. There's no way Dawn is getting through this. I can't believe I'm still placing these blocks. Honestly, I might have made this maze a little bit too long. Okay, I think we're almost done now. And yeah, we'll make this the exit, and we'll mark it with this diamond block for now like this. Alright, now we have to fill in the rest of the maze, and we're going to make a few fake exits on the way, just to trick Dawn. The first thing we are going to do is place a dispenser and a button like this. And what we are going to do is fill it with books, because Dawn hates books. When Dawn sees this dispenser, he's definitely going to want to press it, and when he does, he will see a book, which is going to be so funny. And now I think we should make another fake exit before we finish building this maze. I think right here, we are going to place a ton of green carpets like this. And let's just place a sign that says, congrats, you lost. So when Dawn sees the sign, he thinks it's the end and gets trolled. Now Dawn is for sure going to fall for this one. I mean, the second he sees green carpets, it's guaranteed he goes towards them. All right, now let's just turn this part of the glass into diamond blocks. And let's start to work on our next trap, which is going to be two fake exits and one real exit. Basically, there's going to be three different holes like this, and two of them will be bad, and one of them will be good. So let's just dig straight down here, and obviously we'll keep replacing the dirt with some diamond blocks to make it look better. And for the first trap, I'm going to place some powdered snow down here like this, so now when Don sees the snow, it won't look that dangerous. But if he drops down in here, he will freeze to death. And we'll place some green carpets here to make him want to pick it even more. And now let's dig straight down in the middle hole, and for this one, we are going to place a dispenser and a button like this, which would usually lead to something good. The only difference is, this one is going to have lava in it, so when Don presses the button, lava is going to spawn like this. This will be so funny. And of course, we are going to surround it with green frog lights, because Don likes green and frogs, so he will obviously pick this one. And now, the final hole is going to be the right entrance, but we're going to make it look like the wrong one by placing fake lava at the bottom. And since it is fake lava, it just gives you fire resistance and regeneration when you go inside it. But Don is going to think it's real lava, and he won't go down. And finally, let's place some purple carpets here, so Don is for sure not picking this one, because Don hates purple. And now that we have a real entrance, it's time to dig out another huge area like this. And let's just keep digging. I think that's almost enough, but this room needs to be kind of long. And let's just cut all this like this, and we'll obviously fill all the walls in with diamond blocks, you already know that. And for the first part of this room, we are going to set the whole floor to lava like this. And what we are going to do is use barrier blocks to make an invisible parkour over this lava pool. So let's put a jump here like this. And wait, I think this jump might be a little too far for Don to make, so let's make it shorter. And then we'll put another jump right here like this. And after Don finishes the invisible parkour, we will reward him by making a bridge out of some green glass. But obviously you don't have to cross the full bridge to make it to the other side. So just to make sure that Don is actually paying attention, let's place some barriers here so if Don tries to jump from right here, he will fall straight into the lava like this. And now let's just make sure the parkour works like this. Okay, so far it looks good. And yeah, it's good. It's just the right difficulty for Don as well. Alright, now it's time to build the final room. But first let's place a keypad door to enter the room like this, and we'll make it the same code from the beginning to see if Don can remember it. And now that we have our door, let's dig another huge area out. Okay, why is everything invisible? Let's just keep digging. We want this room to be kind of long. And now let's just cut the area again. And of course we are going to change everything to diamonds, because we hate dirt. And now what we are going to do is replace the bottom of the tunnel with grass, because we haven't had much nature in here yet. So let's just bone meal everything in here to give the grass some more detail. And we'll just place a tree in the middle, and let's also place another tree on the side. Basically what I'm going to tell Don when he gets to this room is that he needs to find a hidden button, so let's put some fake spots for the button first. First, let's place a ladder on the back side of this tree, because that is for sure going to trick him, because it makes no sense. And let's also put a hole right here, which could maybe have a button. And finally, let's just break a little spot right here to trick him again. The thing that Don doesn't know though, is that there's going to be a pressure plate right here to open the door while he's looking for a button. So the whole time, Don is going to be looking for something that doesn't exist, when the exit is right here. Okay, now finally what we need to do is make an exit for this tunnel. So let's just dig all the way up to the surface, and we're going to make a big hole like this, and let's just make all of this diamond block 
box except for the top layer because we want this thing to be hidden still. And now we're going to place some ladders like this and we're going to make the ladder a little bit wavy with some parkour here and there because I know Don hates ladder parkour. So let's keep building the ladder up some more and that should be good at the top. And now what we'll do is just fill the whole top with grass so Don can't find this in the beginning. And finally we'll use this thing called a ghost block to completely hide this area from Don. And now we can go through this grass block to the bottom but Don will never find this. It's way too hidden. Now finally let's add a reward for if Don can finish this. So let's place a chest right here and we'll also place a chest on the top. You'll see why in a second. And the top chest will be Don's fake prize. So let's fill this thing up with books and purple wool because Don hates those things. And let's fill the bottom chest with his real prize. Let's put some green wool, green frog lights, and some frog eggs. Oh, and we'll also give Don some of the slime armor because it's green so Don will probably like it. And now let's just add some signs which say congratulations on escaping the security tunnel. And get your prize below. Just so he knows the chests have prizes in them just to make sure. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we are done our tunnels so now let's go on Don's side and check out how he's doing. Don, are you finished? I'm all done, Eider. Okay, I'm going to check your side in three, two, one. Look at my amazing build. Wait, what Do is like this, it? Don? This is Don's Ultralicious Tunnel of Doom. I don't know if that's true. It looks like it's made out of dirt. It might be made out of dirt, but there's no way you're making it through alive. Also, Don, what's that behind you? Yeah, that's nothing. You don't see anything. Okay. All right, let's check this tunnel out, Don. Careful. Below is Dom? Who is Dom? Doom, Eider. It's the tunnel of doom. Oh, that says Dom, Don. Who's Dom? That's what I said. Okay, whatever. I'm going uh, down. Meow, enter the password. Hmm. Don, do you see what's wrong here? No, you gotta find the password. Otherwise, you won't be able to make it into the tunnel. Okay. But wait, this is just a wooden door, Don. I can just go through. Look. Wait, what? You uh, don't need a password. How do you get through? Oh my god. God, I didn't hook it up to the door properly. All right, there's no way you'll make it past this room. All right, Eider, you have to pick your favorite bush to make it past this room. Okay, Don. Hmm. Let's check out this one. Oh, this one has lava. That doesn't look good. What about this one? See, this one has water. That looks really good, Don. And it also has purple, which makes it even better. So I think that's probably the right one. But let's just check this one just in case. Oh, and it's lava again, Don. I think it's an obvious choice. I think I'm going to go with the middle one because there's water. All right, if you say so. Okay, this one was right. I was right. Yeah, of course you were. I mean, it purple just for you. All right, now stuff's getting real. You gotta pick your weapon. Pick one. You will need it for battle. What kind of battle? Okay, what is ninja? Whoa, glass armor. That's so cool. What about pokey poke? Chain armor and a netherite dagger. That's not as good. That's not as cool as glass armor. Mystery item. What does that mean? It's the mystery item. Open okay, it and find okay, out. Okay, whatever. I'll just check. Whoa, wait. It's a bunch of random stuff and a lucky sword. I'm definitely gonna take this, Dawn. Yeah, that's what I would have chose too. Watch me equip this armor. Whoa, you look so cool, Eider. Oh my god. Don, what is this door? It's the door to the next room. Okay, if you say so, it's in kind of a weird position here. It's just a small door in case you wanted to bring the cat with you. What cat? Zero, 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 zero in the first room. Okay, whatever. I don't have time for that. Let's just open the door and go to the next room. All right, this is Don's super ultra parkour. I can make a pass in one second. I don't think you can though. Good luck. See, I don't think I can do that, Don, but I can do this. What? First try? No way. Yeah, All it's right. just easy. I don't know how you can do parkour like that, but what I do know is you won't pick the proper animal. Hmm, pick your favorite. Duck? That's obviously my favorite. Let's see. Lava? I'm not going down there, Don. Are you sure, though? Check the other ones. Seal. I wouldn't even pick seal anyway, but let's see. Lava again? I love seals. And frog? Frog is the worst animal out of them all. What? I love frogs. Oh my god. And there's a glass pane here, so I can just fall down. So this is the right one. Wow, Don. <laughs> oh my god, Eider. Your favorite animal is frogs? I didn't know. Me that's, too. That's just not true, Don. Well, I think you just secretly admitted to it by choosing the frog hole, but it's okay. Okay whatever let's just move on all right this is dawn's super ultra maze you have to figure out what lever gets you out whoa there's so many levers in here dawn but i'm guessing it's just this button because why is there a button here what why, why would you guess that see i was right but dawn it seems you placed the button a little far away yeah because you gotta run wow you do it now dawn watch this see it's First way too far away here i got a button for you right here Thank you. I'm a little noob sometimes. All right, Eider. Next is Dawn's Arena of Doom. There's some 
absolutely terrifying mobs waiting to fight you down there. Good luck. Okay, I'm kind of scared. Maybe there's a warden down here. I don't want that to happen, but I'm just gonna drop down. Oh, and it's just zombies, except for this baby one. That's kind of scary. But now the baby's gone, and it's literally just zombies. Dawn, this is so easy. Look, they can't Aren't even they get so close scary? to me. Dawn, this is so easy. The Ooga Booga zombies don't scare you either? I'd be Whoa. terrified right now. Wait, what just happened with my sword? Did you see that, Dawn? You just started breathing fire. Are you a dragon? Either? This was definitely the right sword. Oh my god, now there's eggs. Oh my god, how are you spawning chickens? I have no idea, Dawn. And that's all the zombies. Dawn, that was so easy. Look, I even got some food. You probably like rotten flesh, don't you? Ew, I like worms. Okay, you might have been able to defeat the mobs in Dawn's Arena of Doom, but now you're trapped. How will you escape? 12 doors. Only one's the right option. Well, there's a bunch of doors around here, so let's just look for which door is the right one. Wait, and what is this? It looks like the panda has a number on top of it. Yeah, it's just my pet. I named him 12. Hmm. So I guess we're gonna have to check out door number 12. And where are these doors in the wrong order? This should be number one, Dawn. Huh? This should be number one, and that should be 12. I don't know what you're talking about, Eider. This is definitely door 12. Okay, let's check out the door. Dawn, it looks like there's just lava down here. I don't think 12 is the right door. I don't know what you're talking about. I only heard 12 munching on some bamboo. Wait a minute. What is that in the roof? That? Just dirt. Is this a T? Wait, no. This is a 1. Are you sure it's not a T for T-Rex? Does that mean the right door is 1? Let's find out. All right, this is door number one. Ooh, there's a lava here, but it looks like you can jump over it. Okay, Don, this jump looks a little far. I don't know if I can make this. You just must not have strong legs. You just watch me make it. No, but you flew, Don. Yeah, that's just the Don jump. Okay, there's a sign. It says it's fake. Wait, hold on. Oh my oh. god, Don, you almost tricked no me. No way you saw that sign. All right, if you can make it up the staircase, you'll earn your prize. Okay, prize is soon, okay? You can see it. I can't see it. Let me duck. Oh. Get it? It's duck. It's purple? Oh my god, I need to get up here fast. I love dirt. No, I don't. I do. I accidentally ate worm while building super tunnel. Really, Don? Yeah. I tried. I ate worms. Four of them, they weren't that bad. Okay, this is just getting weird. Congrats. You did it. Woo ha ha. Say that for me. Congrats, Eider. You did it. Woo ha ha. Okay, okay. Ooh, and there's a purple chair here. That's so cool, Don. Look at yeah. me. I'm sitting in a purple chair. No, you we can't sit here. You have what? green on you. And we got a purple trampoline. Oh my god. This this prize is bounce, so good bounce. already. But we haven't checked what's in the chest yet. A netherite hoe? Purple wool? Carved pumpkin. I don't know about that. And bedrock? What's bedrock? That's super dirt. No, this is bedrock. Super dirt. Here, try to break it. Noob. What? Okay, whatever. You just aren't the dirt king. And there's a duck statue by Dawn. I'm pretty sure I knew that already. Well, you don't know. I could have hired some builders to build it for you. Okay, Dawn, that was a great prize, but that wasn't that great of a tunnel, let's be honest. I think my tunnel was an absolute 10 out of 10. Dawn's ultralicious tunnel of Dom is just amazing. Okay, Dawn, now it's time to show you my tunnel. My tunnel will be way better. There's no way you're gonna make it to the end. All right, Eider, I don't know who you think you are having a better tunnel than Dawn, but I'll go check it out. Okay, Dawn, it's time to try out my diamond tunnel, which is way better than your dirt tunnel. I love dirt, Eider. I don't know. These diamonds, they hurt my feet. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay, Don, you have to find the entrance. <laughs> you made it green just for me? That's so nice, Eider. Your tunnel's gonna be easy. You're too nice. Don, I wouldn't go down there what? if I were you. What? I'm trapped. How do I... Don, Help! that's fake water. Fake water? You should never trust the green entrance. Obviously, green is the worst color, so why would green be the right entrance? What? I love green. I'll pick green every time. Oh, I see what you did. You made a tiny little purple entrance because purple's the noob color, so it deserves a small entrance. That's just not true. Purple's the best color, so it deserves the real entrance, Dawn. Okay, Dawn, welcome to the first room. You're going to have to get past the scary mobs and find the code to the door to get to the next room. Scary mobs on the first room, Eider. This tunnel's gonna be so difficult. All right, I'm ready. But Don, don't worry, because you can get some gear from these pressure plates right here. Oh, thank God. I thought I was gonna have to punch them with my fist. All right, Don is ready. Ah! Oh my God, so many skeletons. Come on, Don, you got this. It's not that many. I look, got this. Look, they're even shooting each other. This is so easy for you. Absolutely easy, like a worm. I don't know what that means. All right, only three left. I got this piece of cake. Come on, Don. Easy. Good First job, Don. Down. 
All right, Don. Now you have to find the code to this door to get to the next room. Okay, watch this. I'll guess it. First try. Um, Don, I don't right. think you guessed it. I don't think I did either. All right, where's this code? This is like a white room. Don't put me in the psych ward, either. I think this is a blue room, actually. I'm colorblind. I'm sorry, Don. Maybe the thing is back here. I remember seeing a little something. <gasps> is this a sign? Maybe. Zero zero one huh. no wait oh actually yeah that's it that's it yeah yeah mm -hmm. all right let me try it zero zero one go oh what? my god don you read the code wrong i read the code wrong what does it say there's another zero in there don zero zero one zero no another zero with the other zeros Zero, 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 one. No, that's four. Can you just put the code in for me? Okay, fine. Okay, Don, come on through. All right, I'm through. Now you have to make it across this scary parkour to the other side. Now, see, I might have strong legs because I'm a frog, but parkour, this is asking a lot of me, but I'll give it my best shot. Come on, Don, it's easy, look. What? And look, there's even <laughs> some dirt right here that I left in <gasps> to motivate you. Dirt, I love dirt. All right, you gave me confidence. I think I can do it. I don't know if I can do that shortcut at the end, though. All right, one, two. <sighs> Halfway. Three. All Almost right, there, Don. This is a three-block jump, though. You have to be careful. Okay, I got the lineups for it. Watch this. <gasps> Come on. That? One more and jump, Don. See, let's go. I knew you could do it. Okay, follow Easy. me down here. Now, there's a bunch of mines, and you have to make it to this door over here without touching any of them. All right. I'll be very careful, Eider, because I don't want to touch any of these mines. They always get me. All right, I'm tiptoeing across. All right, got to make one last turn, and I think I'm good. And I'm good through. job. Oh, okay, I can't move. Yeah, you might notice that because now you're in an invisible maze, and you have to make it to the other side. Invisible maze? What? Oh, I see some green. Let me get over there. Yeah, go for the green, Dawn. Oh. I, how do I where's the green? I'm it's stuck. just it's just right here. Look. How are you getting to the green? Let me in. You're so close. I'm here. Do I win? Read the sign, Don. Congrats. You lost. Lost? Like toast? Lost. You lost because you went for green, and green is the worst color. Everyone knows that. Stop! You're breaking my green! Spare him, please. Alright. Now it's on. I'm defeating this maze in record time. Okay, Don, you should probably go for this dispenser next. That looks really good. All right, I'll go for the dispenser. There's probably something you'll really like in there. All right, I hope it's a T-Rex. I've been reading about them, and I really want one. All right, it better be a T-Rex, because I asked yeah, you for this for my birthday. It definitely is, Don. I don't Dawn. know if you remember. It's my birthday. No, it definitely is. A book? I hate reading! All right. Take what that do you mean, Don? And sit in a corner it's and just finish a book. it while I finish this maze. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just finish the maze. I'll All get right, smarter and you won't because I read books and you don't. Well, you need to get do some reading. You need some catching up because this maze, it's got nothing on Don's ultra-licious tunnel. All right, Don. You're so close to the exit. Uh, and you I made, made it, it, Don. Nice. Let's go. All right, Don. For the next challenge, you have to pick which one is the right drop down to the next room. All right. Well, I love green. And it looks like there's some snow, so I'm just gonna drop down, and maybe I can make a snow angel when I fall. Okay, Don, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, I'm stuck! Help! I can't- Yeah, Don, that's powdered snow, and now you're gonna freeze. Okay, I'll help you out of there, Don. <gasps> Thank you, Eider. I still have frostbite. I need, I need to go back. But don't fall for something my... like that again. Okay, I need to warm my toes first, though. Give me a second. Okay, I'll just break this block under you then. Oh! Okay, my, to my toes are warm. They're warm. All right. As much as I hate it, I hate it so much I'm even going to take off all this purple armor. Wait, Don, that armor's blue, you realize. Blue? Okay, if we're being totally honest, your shirt's blue. I'm colorblind. I just say it's purple to make you happy. It is blue, Don. What? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Don. It's purple. Don't just, mess with me like just that. Just like the blocks you're standing on right now. All right, I am about to drop down this because I know you'd make it the purple one. I've outsmarted you. Wait, but the frog light's Don. Actually, you know, I love frogs. Ow, that sounded like it hurt. But what does that button do, Don? Oh my no! god. I can't believe you fell for this again. Why would I make it the frog lights? I hate frogs. Why do you hate frogs? Does that mean you hate me? Alright, I'm going down the purple one. Okay, Don. Fake lava? Yeah. I knew it. No, you didn't. You checked the other two first. I have x-ray vision. Okay, Don. Now you have to make it across the lava pool. How am I supposed to make it across? 
My legs are strong, but not that strong. Well, maybe there's a way to make it across that's hidden from you, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna test out some- Oh, and look, there's also dirt. Dirt? I love dirt. Hey, don't break it the burned. dirt. You just burn dirt. I'm a sinner. I okay. love burning dirt. Don't disrespect my dirt. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. Oh wait, you found the invisible block, Don. I just jumped. I thought my legs were strong enough. I just got lucky, but oh. now I know that there's blocks. All right, right here. Oh, got that. It's gotta be one more around here somewhere. <gasps> right here. Boom, all right. Now I just gotta snail along the trail. Okay. I'm leaving my little slime trail behind me, like a snail. And, oh. Oh my what? god, Don. There's an invisible wall there. You didn't check. How was I supposed to know that? Why would I check for an invisible wall? Okay, Don. You have to try again. Oh my god. I have to do this all over again? No way. Well, next time you should check for an invisible wall. All right. Now it's on my radar. I'll be very careful. All right. Let's see. Wall. 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 No wall. No wall. All right. I got this. Ugh. Nice job, Don. Thanks, Eider. Okay, Don, now you have to open this keypad door. All right, I don't know what the password is, so I'm just gonna chop it down. No, Don, you can't do that. Why not? It doesn't work that way. All right, let me see. Think about what the password was before. Zero, zero, one. No, Don, that was the wrong one. You put the password in for me last time. That is true, but think, if zero, zero, one is wrong, and there's one more zero, what is the password? I got it. Zero, 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 one. Oh my oh. god, Don, you actually did it. Let's go. Okay, Don, there's a button hidden somewhere in this room, and you have to find it. A button? All right, I gotta get to chopping. These trees are in the way. No, Don, what if the button's on the trees? Wait, you make a good point. Hold on, let me craft my button finder. What is a button finder? You just don't know about my tech. I went to medical school. Don, be careful using a crafting table. I'm not sure if you know how to do that yet. Oh, I know how to do that. Whoa, I All didn't right. expect you to do this. I know it's got to be somewhere up here. Wait, you're telling me there was a ladder up here this whole time and I had yeah, to Don. use my medical school skills to get up here? Take this sapling in my disgust. Okay, Don. I'm not seeing a button up here. Let me go check out the corners. Everyone always hides stuff in the corner of the room. It's not even under the floor. What? All right, it's gotta be over here. What was that? I, I don't know, noise. Don. I don't know what that um, is. I've never seen one of those before. Uh, me neither. I think that's for mechanics, but the door's open, so I'm gonna walk through. Okay, Don. I can't believe you accidentally found that. Yeah, I'm just a lucky duck. Okay, Don. The last part of the tunnel is these ladders. You have to get all the way up the ladders without falling. All the way up? I'm getting dizzy, Eider. Well, you should try climbing the ladders instead of whatever you were doing there. That'll make you less right. dizzy. You're so right. I'm gonna climb the ladders. Ooh, I got frog legs. Alright, I'm climbing them. Ooh, scary. But I'm making it up. Slowly, but surely. Ooh, you're almost mm. at the prize area. Wait, I see, I see a sign. Congratulations on escaping the security tunnel. Lame name. Get your prize below. Below? Like here? No, Don- Oh my god, Don. Where's my prize? That's not what that meant. It's- It, it meant said, below, like below the sign. Yeah, that was below the- Oh okay, now you have to God. go up again. I have to go all the way up again. Eider, this is taking so long. My feet hurt. Well, Don, you shouldn't have fallen all the way down. Well, I just do what the sign tells me to do. And that's not what the sign told you to do. That's okay, debatable. fine. I'll just get rid of the sign. All right, okay. I'm going to open this chest. This must be my prize. Books! Purple ball! Don, don't jump off spell. again. Eider. What? That's some of the best prizes. That's a horrible prize. Why would you give me that? All right, because I'm I love books and purple tunnel. wool. Wait, I'm getting out of here. Wait, Wait, Dawn, there's another chest. Where? I don't know. You have to find it. <gasps> I see something. It really is below. I get it now. Oh my god. This is the best prize ever. Lime wool, frog light, and best of all, green armor. Whoa, it's even shiny, Dawn. I don't like shiny stuff. It hurts my eyes. All right. I'm getting claustrophobic. Let me out. All right, me and my frogs, we've got a mission to go on. You want to know about it. It's for medical school. Okay, Don, whatever you say. Okay, Eder, your tunnel was pretty fun, though. I got to give it to you. All right, Don, you're definitely going to lose. <laughs> no way. All right, now we have to build the tunnel. All right, and we're going to place a block here, and we are going to go really far all the way to the other side. Let's keep going. And I think this should be good enough. 
So let's build up here and we'll select this and we'll use this command to fill this whole thing with diamond blocks. And now let's select this side and we'll go all the way back to the other side. And let's select right here and we'll use this command to get rid of all the diamond blocks in the inside. And now we have our tunnel. Now we're going to build a wall on the front of the tunnel and this is where our fake entrance is going to be. Alright, and now we have our wall and we're going to put two signs right here and then we're going to put a green banner right here. So now Don is going to see this green banner and because it's green and green is Don's favorite color, he's going to think that this is the real entrance. And on this side, we are going to put a bunch of lava so that Don falls in the lava and dies. So we're going to use this command right here and now this whole thing is lava. And just in case Don makes it to the other side, we are going to place a giant wall right here so he can't escape. So let's just use this command and now we have our fake entrance. This is going to be so good. There's no way he doesn't fall for this. Now we're going to build the real entrance on the roof. So we're going to place ladders up here so that he can get up. And then we're going to make a big hole in the roof right here. So now at the bottom of this hole, we are going to make another big hole right here. And we are going to place fake lava inside of this hole. Now what fake lava does is basically it gives you fire resistance when you go inside of it. So when Don goes into this lava, he won't actually take any damage, but he'll think that it's a trap. So let's put all this fake lava in this hole. This is going to be so good. Don is going to have no idea that this is actually just fake lava and he can just fall in. Now we'll build a wall here to separate this room from the next room. And in this room, I think we're going to put a bunch of mobs so that Don has to fight off all of the mobs. So we're going to put some dispensers in the ground here so that Don at least has some gear to fight the mobs. And we're going to give him an iron sword, an iron chest plate, iron pants, and iron boots. And now we're going to put pressure plates over this so when Don walks on these pressure plates, he'll get all the gear just like that. Alright, now we're going to build another wall on the other side. And now we are going to put a keypad door on this side, so Don has to find the keypad door code to get through. So let's hide the keypad door code somewhere he'll never find it. And we're going to make the code 0000 because that's the most obvious code and Don will have no idea because it's so obvious. Now we're just going to spawn a bunch of zombies in here. Maybe that's too many, I don't know. Nah, let's spawn a few more. Alright, now let's just put our code in the keypad door. And now as you can see, if we type our code in, the door will let us through. Alright, next we're going to make a giant lava pit because we're going to add some parkour. Now let's just fill the sides of this lava pit so it's not dirt because as you know, dirt is the worst block. And now our lava pit looks much better. We just need to add lava to this. So I'm going to go in the middle and I'm going to use this command to fill the whole thing with lava. And now we have a giant lava pit and now we'll build some parkour over this lava pit and Don will have to make it to the other side. Now let's not make this parkour too hard. Just kidding, I'm going to make it as hard as possible. Alright, so we'll put our first jump right here, and as you can see, this is an easy jump. I mean, there's no way I'm not making this. And now we'll put our next jump right here, and this jump is a little bit harder. Don might have trouble with this one. But now, we are going to add a ladder jump, and there's no way Don is getting through this one first try. And then we'll put another ladder jump right here, and then we'll go back to diamond blocks, and we'll put a jump right here, and now we'll put another jump right here, and for the final jump, we'll make it this super easy jump. And then I'm going to put barrier blocks in front of it so that when he tries to make the jump, this just happens. And the actual jump is just going to the side like this. But he's going to have no idea because this looks like it's the actual jump. This is going to be so funny. Alright, and now we'll test our parkour to see if it works. So we'll go here and here. And then we'll go here. And these ones are kind of hard. Alright, and we'll go here and here. And then we'll avoid the barrier block and go right here. And as you can see, our parkour works perfectly. Let's move on to the next part. For this part, we are going to put a bunch of landmines on the ground. And if you don't know what landmines are, basically if I walk over this block, it will explode. So if Don walks over any of the landmines we place, he will blow up and he'll have to start the tunnel over again. So let's place a bunch of landmines over here, and he will have to walk through them without setting any of them off. And I think that's good enough. So now if Don steps on any of the landmines like this, he's going to completely explode. Next, we're going to build a big wall to separate the next room. So let's place all these blocks up here, and we'll make a nice little entrance for him right here, and we'll finish placing blocks like this. And now, we're going to put a maze. And if you guys subscribe right now, I'll make sure this is the hardest maze ever. So let's just extend it out a little bit like this, 
and then we'll put a fake spot right here for him to walk into now let's keep going and this will be the real way to get through the maze going through here but then we'll put two separate ways right here so he has to choose which way that he goes now next we're going to keep building this side out and then we're going to build a wall here and then we'll put another fake spot right here and we'll make it as long as possible so he has to go all the way back from over here now i think we'll put the real exit right here and then we'll just put a fake spot right here because maybe he won't even notice this is the real exit and I think our maze is hard enough, so now we just have to build the walls all the way up to the top so that he can't see through the maze. And now, at one of the dead ends in the maze, I'm going to put this dispenser. And I'm going to put a button to activate this dispenser, and inside of this dispenser, I'm going to put a bunch of books, because Don hates books. Alright, now let's just finish our wall in front of the maze. And now we're going to build another wall right here, and we're going to leave three holes open because there's going to be three doors on this wall, and Don is going to have to choose which door he goes through, and two of them are going to have something really bad, and one of them will be the real entrance. Alright, so let's put all three of the doors right here. Now on this first door, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of fake water, and this water will actually damage Don when he goes into it. So he's going to think this is the actual tunnel, but the water is actually going to kill him. And because you'll think this is the actual tunnel, let's put some barriers at the end so it actually looks real. Now we'll do the middle tunnel, and this will be the real tunnel. And we're going to put a bunch of TNT on the ground just to scare him into thinking that this is the fake tunnel. And now in the last tunnel, we are going to put a dispenser. And inside of this dispenser, there's literally going to be nothing, but Don is going to think that this dispenser is the real entrance, because the real entrance with the TNT looks like it's fake. Now let's just build the wall on the other side, and I think we're done with that. For the next one, we are going to do a little bit of a prank on Don. So we're going to cut this whole thing out, and then of course we have to change the walls from dirt. And next we're going to fill this hole with lava. And right now, Don would not be able to get past this, because if he tried, he would just jump into lava and die. But what we're gonna do is we're going to place barriers all along this thing, so that Don can literally just run through, and he'll have no idea. So let's just keep placing barriers like this, and we're almost done placing barriers now. Alright, and now you can literally just walk over this lava, but Don is going to see the lava, and he's going to think that if he walks forward, he's going to die in the lava, so he's going to be so confused. Alright, now I'm going to build a giant house out of diamonds, and inside of this house somewhere, I'm going to hide the exit to the tunnel. So let's just place a wall like this, and we'll place a few more walls on the other sides. Now this house doesn't look that good, but it's made out of diamond blocks, and obviously diamonds are the best block in Minecraft, so I mean that makes up for the house being bad. So now we'll just put a roof on the house, and we'll make it pointy a little bit, and we'll put one more spot at the top, and that looks like a pretty good house. Let's just extend the roof out a bit more, and now we'll have to hide a lever in here somewhere that will be the escape to the tunnel. So let's just get our lever, and let's literally spam these everywhere, so he has to try all of these levers. And inside of the house, I think we'll put some house stuff, like we'll put a bed right here, we'll put a crafting table, we'll put a couple furnaces, and we'll even put some bookshelves, because I'm sure Don will love those. And then we'll put a few more hidden levers inside of the house, and we'll even put one under the bed, and actually we'll add a few more fake levers underneath these blocks, and we'll even put a few under the bookshelves, because I'm sure Don will break the bookshelves. But none of these levers are actually the real lever. Now we're going to hide the actual lever on the roof right here. He will never find this lever. And now we have to build a big wall here so he can't just walk out of the tunnel. Alright, let's keep placing these blocks, and we'll add a few more right here so we have room for a door. And now we'll add our iron door at the other side. So right now there's no way to get through this, so we have to add some redstone and connect it to our lever up here so that Don can actually open the door and escape the tunnel. So let's place some redstone right here, and we'll make the redstone go up like this, and we'll keep placing redstone until we get to the top of the tunnel. And now we're at the top of the tunnel, and we have to find where the lever is inside of the tunnel. So I'm going to go back in the tunnel, and I'm just going to break a block like this, so we know where the lever is now. So now let's connect this redstone to where the lever is, and now when I pull this lever, it should set off the redstone. And as you can see, the redstone is set off, but the redstone doesn't actually work yet, so we have to add some repeaters. So we'll just put a repeater here, and as you can see, the door is now open when we press the lever. So if I press the lever like this, the door closes, and I press the lever again, the door opens. So now we just have to hide our redstone a little bit and now we'll put a final room so we can put a reward for if Don finishes the maze so we'll just use this command to place our wall right here and we'll put a double chest right here and inside of this double chest we're going to put a bunch of purple wool because this is not the actual real double chest Don is going to be so mad when he sees this but we're going to put the real double chest underneath this one 
and inside of this one we are going to put a bunch of lime wool and a bunch of frog spawn eggs because frogs are don's favorite animal and now we'll just put a little sign right here telling don congratulations on finishing the maze and we'll say your prize is in the double chest in the other one so now he's going to check this double chest and he'll see all this purple wool and he'll be so mad not knowing the real double chest is under here all right now let's go on don's side and check out how he's doing all right don are you finished yep all finished all right i'm gonna check out your side in three two one wait what is this this is don's super tunnel are you sure this thing looks really bad you made the whole thing out of dirt what do you mean dirt's the best block just wait till you see the inside this tunnel is gonna be super super hard all right whatever don show me your tunnel all right first you have to get past the impossible lava pit are you serious, Don? You're saying this is impossible, but I literally just saw you walk through it first try. Like, come on. I can literally just do this. Wait. Like, you really think that's hard? What? <laughs> all right, all right. This next one will get you for sure. All right, Don, do you seriously think these cobwebs are going to stop me? Like, who do you think I am? Okay, Eider, you have to choose one of these buttons. Make sure you don't choose the wrong one. All right, so this one says press for special door. I wonder what a special door is. But this one says press faux diamond? Don, who is Diamond? Diamond? You mean Damien, my friend? Okay, whatever. So I either get Damien or a special door. I think I'm gonna press Damien. Wait, this isn't Damien, this is Diamonds, Don. Ew, Diamonds? I hate Diamonds. I mean, I'll take more of these. Okay, so I guess we have to press for special door. Don, this just hurt me. Are you serious? Haha, uh -huh. alright. There is no door. Come up here. Okay, Eider, there's no way you'll be able to pass Don's super ultra dropper. Oh no, Don, I think this looks kind of hard. I don't know if I can... Like, are you serious? This is so what? easy, Don. <laughs> no way you just did that first try. It took me 11 tries. Okay, Eider, only one of these is the right path. Make sure you choose the right one. Okay, well, this one looks like... I don't know, this one might be the right one. I mean, there's iron bars right here, and there's a door on the other side. Hmm... Let's go across and see. Okay, make sure we don't fall in the lava. Oh, come on. Seriously, there's just dirt here. Haha, <laughs> I don't know how you were able to run across the balance beam like that. Wait, you think this is hard? Yeah, this is so hard. Okay, so let's try the middle door. And there's just a bunch of cobwebs over here. Do I seriously have to go through all these cobwebs, Don? Oh my god, Don, there's nothing on this side again. Are you serious? Uh, I guess that only leaves you with one choice then. Alright, so I guess it has to be this door. And there's parkour on the other side. Are you serious? Now, be careful. This is Don's ultra parkour. Really? This parkour is so easy, Don. What do you mean? There's not even any three block jumps on here. Wow, I did that first try. You seriously thought that was going to stop me? Yeah, but look, there is a three block jump. No, you can go to that one on the other side, Don. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, this is Don's gladiator arena. No way you make it past my guards. So I guess I have to take whatever's in this chest, right? Ooh, a diamond sword. I love diamond swords. Ew. Alright, just go fight them already. Oh my god, Don, this one's already attacking me. What did you put in here? Oh, there's a pillager. Oh my god. Watch out. Wait, they're actually killing me, Don. Oh my god. Wait, they're actually doing so much damage. No way you get past my endermites. Don, these are so easy. They can't even hit me. The only thing you that mean? was hard there was the pillager. Don, look, look at how this. scary not these guys are. Me. They're even named Big Scare. Naming them doesn't make them scary. Oh my god, Don. This is so easy. I was on three hearts and I didn't die. That was oh, so wow. easy, Don. That's insane. Good stuff. All right, get ready for the final challenge. You're going to have to get across all this lava and all these cobwebs. Wait. Don, there's glass here. This is easy. What, what do you mean? No way you figured that out. All right, congrats for finishing the maze. Take a look at your prize. Okay, what is in this chest? A music disc, dirt path, and and coarse dirt? Yeah, everyone's favorite block, dirt. You can have your dirt back. Awesome, I love coarse dirt. All right, Don, my tunnel is way harder than that. You should come to my side. All right, I'll go check it out, but no way it's harder than mine. All right, Don, check out my tunnel. Oh, diamond blocks? Why do you use those? Because diamond blocks are the best block in the game. What do you mean? I'd much rather coarse dirt. Alright, Don, so you have to find the entrance to the tunnel, and I think that shouldn't be too hard for you to do. Okay, Eider, let's see. Alright, so 
Ooh, I like this green banner. It's probably through here, right? Oh my god! Oh my god, Don! There's no way you no. fell for that. There's no way you fell for that, Don. You actually thought that I would put the entrance behind green? This disgusting I color. I had to check it out. It's my absolute favorite color. All right, I'm gonna find the real entrance. All right, Don. I'll give you a hint. Okay. Think up. Up. All right. Maybe there's a way I can get on top. This looks so long. I don't want to run all the way down there. Let me check this side. <gasps> I think I found it. Climbing the ladder. Climbing the ladder. <gasps> all right, this Don. has to be it. This is definitely the real entrance. But Eider, how am I supposed to get down there? There's so much lava. All right. I'm going to try and make it to that side. Oh, Don, it's fake lava. Look at this. Fake you can lava? swim in it forever. Oh my god, I have regeneration. Okay, Don, for this next part, you have to go into this super scary room and find the password hidden somewhere in this room to open the door. Oh my god, that sounds so scary. Alright, I'm gonna try my best. Alright, Don, good luck. Alright, I'll try my best. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Oh, Don't oh die, Don. I'm actually gonna die. No way I kill all these zombies. No, Don, Help. you have to find the passcode, Don. Eider, how am I supposed to kill all those zombies? They're just zombies, Don. Alright, Don, since you died, I'll remove some of the zombies for you, just so it's a little bit easier. Thank you, Eider. Okay, now there's not as many zombies. I think you should have a better chance. Alright, I'll try again. I got this. Go, go, go! Kill zombie! Ah, Come on, Don. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I'm still dying! Oh my god, Don, you're taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna die! Oh my god! All right, Don, only a few more zombies to go. You can do it. Easy. You thought that would stop me? No way. All right, Don, the door is right here. Uh, there's a passcode. How am I supposed to get out? Uh, the passcode is somewhere in this room. In this room? All I found in this room was some rotten flesh. All right, let me look at his passcode. I don't see anything over here. I don't like it gets up. Wait, I see a sign all the way up there. I think that says like zero zero zero. Let me break it so I can get a closer look. Oh my god, Don, that's not how signs work. Wait, what happened to the passcode? The password definitely is an A. Maybe you should try what you had before. Alright. I think it was uh zero 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 zero. <gasps> Yo! Okay, Don, this next part is a really hard parkour, and you have to make it all the way to the other side without falling. Eider, do you really think I can do this? No I mean, way. I can I can do it easily first try. Watch this. Well, that's cool and all, Eider, but you're in creative mode, so you're just cheating. Okay, whatever, Don. Let me see you try it. Alright. Wait. Oh my god, Don. You died Wait. already. Alright, Don. It's time to try again. Alright, this time I got it, Eider. Okay, jump. Alright, one more. Okay, I got this. To the ladder? Okay, this looks kind of hard. One more ladder. I made it. All right. I got this. All right. Oh, I made it. Ooh, that one was scary. All right. I got this. Just one more jump. Okay, this is the last jump, Don. This jump is so easy. There's no way you can mess this one up. All right. I got this. Wait, what? How did I miss a two block jump? Oh my god, Don. There's no way you fell for that. There's a barrier right there and it blocked you. Oh. How was I supposed to know that, Eider? Alright, Don, so this is the real jump. You have to go right here. Okay, I think I got this. This doesn't look too hard. Alright, and last jump! I made it! Alright, Don, be careful. Don't touch any of these landmines. Alright, I'll be super, super careful. Don, how did you even touch the landmine? It was literally so easy. You didn't even have to jump or anything. Alright, Don, next you have to make it through this maze. And there may or may not be something in here waiting for you. A surprise. Surprise? Or something scary? I don't know if I trust you. It's a surprise. Alright. Okay, not that way. Alright, let me try here. This is super, super dark and creepy. Wait, what is this? Spencer? There's a surprise in there waiting for you. Okay, Eider, I'm gonna trust you. Books? <laughs> you know I hate books. I don't even know how to read. You take the ugly book. I don't want that. Alright, I still can't figure out how to get out of here. No, Don, you're going the wrong way. You just came from there. Are you serious? Man, this is too hard for me. Alright, 
Last try. <gasps> I got it. No way, Don. You actually made it through. Okay, for this part, there's three doors, and you have to choose the right one. Two of them have something bad behind it, and one of them goes to the next part of the tunnel. Alright. Seems kind of hard. I have to choose the right one. Alright. Okay. I see some levers down here. I'm gonna choose this one. Wait! I'm taking- How am I taking damage to the water? What did you- I can't even get out! That's no! That's fake water, Don. I can't believe you fell for the fake water. Alright, Don, there's two more doors, and one of them is the right one. Which one are you going to pick? This one looks like it has some TNT, so that's probably pretty bad. I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, Don. Alright. No way, I'm stuck? Wait, there's a button here. What does this do? I don't know. Try it. Okay. Wait. It doesn't do anything. Maybe you should try it again. Again. Eider! Eider! You trapped me! Okay, I'm just kidding. The button does nothing. I'll let you out, Don. Alright, and that means there's only one more door left for you to pick. Wait, this is the one with TNT. No way it's this one. I don't know, Don. You have to find out. Alright, it better be this one. You better not be lying. I see, made it! It was fine. Okay, I trusted you. Alright, so you see this house over here? You have to make it across this lava and get to the house. Alright. How am I supposed to do that, though? This is a massive lava pit. I don't know. I think maybe you can make this jump. Alright, let's see. This is like one, two, three, five, seven, seven. Yeah. Alright, I got this, you know? I've been working out. Alright, I'll get a running start. Easy! Look at that. I bet you can't do seven block jumps. Don, you didn't actually make the jump. These are barrier blocks. You can just stand on it. What? So I didn't have to... I just tried so hard for that jump, all for nothing. Alright, what's this house? So this house is the best house in Minecraft. It's a diamond house. Way better Ew. than dirt. And you have to find which lever is the right lever to open the door over there. Wait, but there's so many levers, Eider. What am I supposed to do? You expect me to try all of them? I don't know. Find the right lever. Alright, let's try all these ones over here. Doesn't seem like it's these. Oh my god, there's so many, even in the back, and on this side as well. Alright, Don, I'll give you a hint. It's hidden. Hidden. Alright, so it must be in that- <gasps> I'm not going in there. Why? You have bookshelves. That's even worse than diamonds. But what if it's hidden in the books, Don? Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to confront my biggest fear just to finish this maze to show you it's not as good as mine. Books are not scary. Books are not scary. Ah, ah, ah. You take, take these, take these, take these. Okay, books are not scary. Wait, I see some levers. It, it's not, not this one? Alright, books are not scary. Books are not scary. Wait, it has to be this one. Was it that one? No? Oh my god. Alright, it has to be this one. Alright, Don, let's see. No way, you said it was hidden behind the books. I said it might be hidden behind the books. Wait a minute. Hider, did you put it under the bed? I don't know, did I? Let's see. No way. Alright, last place it could be. Under the crafting table. This has to be it. Alright, Don, let's try it. No way, where is it? Remember where the hidden entrance was at the beginning of the tunnel? <gasps> oh my god, it was on the roof. But how am I supposed to get up there? Alright, let's see if there's something on the back side. Oh my god, it's up on the roof. That has to be it. Alright, I'm gonna jump super, super high to get this. Alright, Don, you're a frog, so I know you can jump. You can do it. I got this. Uh, let's go! Oh my god, Don, you made it through. Let's go! Wait, for all these big words, you gotta help me. Okay, Don, it says congratulations on finishing the maze. Your prize is in the double chest. Yo, my prize? Alright, this will prove how good of a friend you really are. Ew, it's not what I wanted. What do it's you mean? purple. What do you mean? Purple's the best color. Ew, purple's the worst color. Look at your shirt. It's like that. Okay, Don, that was the fake prize. The real prize is actually hidden under that double chest. <gasps> oh my god, green wool and... Something I think might be even better than coarse dirt. Frogs! Alright, Don, I hate frogs. I'm getting out of here. Don, I love this house we built. I know, right? I'm so proud of this. Me too. Oh my god, where do all these rainbow friends keep coming from? 
I don't know either, but they're kind of creepy. Wait, Dawn? I think they might be coming from that castle over there. Wait, they're definitely coming from over there, Eider. Alright, Don, I think we should go check it out. I agree, Eider. Let's go check it out. Whoa, Don, this castle looks so weird. I know, why did they put the sky right there when it's all the way up there? I don't know, Don. Let's go check it out. Yup. Whoa, there's so much stuff in here. Wait, Don, I think we have to go up to the other part of the castle right there. Yeah, that's probably right. Let's go check it out. Alright, let's cross this bridge. And we'll go up here. Whoa! There's a bunch of rainbow friends here, Don. Wait, rainbow friends? Does that mean they're friendly? Whoa, no, 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 wait, Don, no! These rainbow friends aren't friendly, Don. Really? No, they're definitely going to kill you. Oh my god, alright, I'll be really careful. We need to fix up this hole before they get out. Alright, iron bars should be good. Don't do that again, Don, we can't let them out. <laughs> wait, Don, did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Wait- they're breaking out, Don. We need to leave. We need to get out of here right now, Eider. Eider, what was that? Don, that was a bunch of rainbow friends, and we need to get back to our base. They can escape at any time. Oh my god, let's get out of here. Alright, Don, we need to protect our house from these rainbow friends, because they're gonna come for us. Alright, Eider, let's get rid of these wooden doors first. That's a good idea, Don. And I'm going to replace it with the scanner door, and now when I look at the door, I can walk in, but if the rainbow friends look at the door, they won't be able to get through. Oh, Eider, that's insane. Alright, I'm gonna place my own scanner door. Alright, and now we have these scanner doors, the rainbow friends won't be able to get into our house. Alright, I think we need to add more security, though. Alright, Don, I think what we need to add next is a lava moat. Let's start breaking all these blocks on the outside right here, and I'm gonna race you to the other side, go. Alright, I bet you can't beat me. I don't know about that, Don. I'm breaking blocks so fast right now. Don, you are definitely going to lose. I don't even see you on the other side yet. No way. And I think I won, Don. Alright, Don, now let's fill this entire moat with lava, and I bet you'll lose this race too. No way I lose again. Oh my god, there's gonna be so much lava, Don. Our rainbow friends will never make it past this. Alright, Don, I think I'm winning. No way. You're not even done with the first side yet. Oh my god, Don, this is close. And I think I won, Don. Let's go. No way you beat me again, Eider. Alright, Don, you know what? I'll say it was a tie, because I'm not sure if I actually won. Alright, sounds fair. But you did miss a few spots right here. Alright, Don, now we have a moat to block the rainbow friends. Wait, Eider, how are we supposed to get back to our base now? All this lava's in the way. You're right, Don. We need to add a way for us to get across. What I think we should do, Don, is make a secret tunnel. Yeah, that sounds super cool. Okay, so we'll break the blocks right here like this, and then I'll get some pistons and place them like this, and now we'll put the dirt back, and we'll put this on the other side as well, and now as you can see this blends into the ground, and we just need to make a way to open it. How cool is that, Don? That's so cool, Eider. You're so good at redstone. So we'll place redstone along the sides like this, and then we'll put a secret lever right here. A secret lever? And we'll keep placing redstone, and we're almost done placing redstone, we just have to place a few more under the lava. And now, as you can see, when you press this lever, the door opens like that. Oh my god, I can't wait to use the secret lever. Alright, now we have to put a passageway under the lava. Now we're going to place two trapdoors right here, and these will let us go into swimming mode, and we can go right under the lava. Hey, that is so smart. So now let's just break a few more blocks right here, and now we'll be able to get up into our base like this. Oh my god, the rainbow friends will never know where we went. Alright, Don, now I think we should add some landmines to stop the rainbow friends. That sounds like a great idea. I love landmines. So I have this special type of landmine where it looks just like gravel, but if you stand on it, it explodes. Hey, really? That seems sick. Can I try it? Of course you can, Don. Oh my god. And see, just like that, it explodes. The rainbow friends will have no idea. This is gonna be so epic. Alright, Don, now we have to fill in this hole, because the rainbow friends probably won't like this hole being out here. Yeah, we can't let them know what's about to hit them. Alright, Don, now we'll just replace all the gravel with gravel mines, and the rainbow friends will have absolutely no idea that all this gravel is mines. This is gonna be so good. I'll have absolutely no idea what hit them either. Alright, now I think we need to add another defense around our house. That sounds like a great idea. I think we should put a bunch of lasers around the house. Oh my god, I love lasers. Alright, let's place a laser right here, and then we'll place one a few blocks up, and as you can see, a big red laser comes out of the laser blocks. Isn't that so cool? 
Wait, this is so cool. The Rainbow Friends will never get past this. All right, now we just have to put this all around our base. Let's race again, Don. No way you beat me this time. I don't know, Don. I'm placing lasers really fast. Don, you're so far behind. I lost pretty bad. I'll admit it. All right, but you have another chance because we have to place them on the top. Okay, this one, no way I lose. I don't know about that, Don. Oh my god, wait. Okay. I think I beat you, Eider, but my lasers don't seem like they're working. That's so weird, Don, because my lasers work fine. My lasers work perfectly. Alright, Don, and now our base is looking really secure. I mean, look at these lasers. There's no way the Rainbow Friends can get through these. This is such a good security house, but I think we need some eyes on the Rainbow Friends. We should use a camera to put it in their base. That's a great idea, Don. Let's go check on the Rainbow Friends again. Alright, Don, let's be really careful checking out these Rainbow Friends. We don't know if they got out yet. Alright, I'm super scared to go look. Oh my god, Don, I think they're breaking the glass even more. Oh my god, Eider, they're definitely gonna get out soon. Let's go back to the house. But wait, Don, we need to put some security cameras here first so we can check on them. Okay, so we'll put a security camera right in front right here. And we'll put one really high up here. And we'll put one in the corner right here. And we'll put another one right here. And now with this camera monitor, we can check on the Rainbow Friends at any time. Isn't this so cool? Wait, this is insane. Oh my god. Alright, Don, let's go back to our base now. Alright, let's get back really quick before these Rainbow Friends come out. Good idea, Don. Alright, Don, now we have all this defense, but we don't have any weapons yet, so I think we should build a giant arrow machine. Wait, that's such a good idea. We need to have a good offense, too. Alright, Don, so we'll go into the house... And then let's go all the way up to the roof. And then we'll place a bunch of dispensers right here. And we have to load all these dispensers up with arrows. Alright, now we're going to place a bunch of blocks back here. And we'll put redstone on top of all of these blocks. And now let's connect this redstone over here. And we're almost done. Now let's get a lever and put it in the middle. And now this should power all our dispensers. Are you ready, Don? Yeah. When the rainbow friends come, can I push the lever? Sure, Don. But watch this. Oh my god, that's gonna work so well against them. I know, right? And look, we can even spam it like this. It won't stand a chance. Alright, Don, but now I think they might get suspicious if they see all these dispensers up here. Wait, that's right. I'm gonna put some banners on them. Good idea, Don. But maybe don't use green, because green is a terrible color. Maybe we should use purple instead. Green is the best color. No way we're using purple. No, Don. We should use purple. Whoa, Don. Why are you destroying all the purple? Alright, you know what, Don? How about my half gets to be purple and your half gets to be green? How about that? Sure, I dare. Alright, now the Rainbow Friends are gonna have no idea there's dispensers up here. They'll think we just decided to add our flag. This is gonna be so cool when they come. And as you can see, the dispensers still work. Epic. Alright, Don, but now the Rainbow Friends might be suspicious if they see all this anyway, so I think we should build something nice for them. Let's build a beach. That's a good idea, Don. Let's go build it over here. Alright, sounds like a plan. Okay, let's break a bunch of blocks over here so we can put the water in it. And we'll keep breaking blocks. Breaking and we'll make it blocks. look kinda natural, because this is a beach. Breaking blocks, breaking blocks, breaking blocks. I love breaking blocks, Don. Yeah, me too. Alright, now we'll fill the bottom layer with sand, because a beach doesn't usually have dirt. Wait, that's so true. Let's see how good you are at placing sand. We are so good at building the beach. Alright, Don, I think our beach looks really good, but I think we're missing something. What are we missing, Eider? We're missing water. Wait, that's so true. Alright, let's add some water. No, but we're not going to add any water, we're going to add fake water, so when the Rainbow Friends go to swim in the beach, they'll die from the water. Wait, that's such a good idea. I never even thought about using fake water. Let's fill this whole thing up with fake water. Placing water. Placing water. But it's fake. Alright, Don, and now, as you can see, I take damage when I go in this water. Oh my god. The Rainbow Friends are going to have no idea. Alright, now let's add some sand on the outside. Alright, Don, and as you can see, this looks so much better. The Rainbow Friends will not be able to resist swimming in here. I know, this looks like such a fun beach. Alright, Don, I think we should add some beach chairs to the beach, just to make it a little bit more friendly. Hey, these look so good. Oh my god, I just want to sit down and relax. Wait, Don, this beach isn't for you, remember? This is for the Rainbow Friends. Oh, right. I better be careful, or I may end up going swimming on accident. Alright, Don, now let's place a diving board right here. 
And I'll put ladders on the front to go up. Hey, I'm gonna try it. Wait, Don, that's fake water. Watch out. My bad. I almost got carried away. All right, Don, I think what we need to build now is a watchtower. Wait, I love watchtowers. Let's make one. All right, let's build up like this. And we'll go really high like that. And we'll build up on the other sides as well. Wow, Don, this is looking really cool so far. This is looking absolutely amazing. Okay, Don, now let's put some wood in the gap like this. And we'll build it all the way up to the top. All right, and now our tower looks really good, but I think we need to add some security to this door because the rainbow friends are just going to be able to go through like this. That's so true. We can't let them in our tower. Okay, so I'm going to place a keypad door, and what should I make the password, Don? Um, let's make it 0008. That way the rainbow friends will never guess it. Good idea, Don. And now I'm putting the keypad in. And as you can see, now we have to put the code in to go through the door. This is so cool. This is insane. This is such a good tower. But I think we're missing one thing, Eider. Do you know what it is? I think I know what it is. Um, banners. Let's decorate. No, that's not what I was thinking. I think we need to add a ladder, Don, so we can get up. Oh, that too. And now, Don, we need to add a floor up here so we don't fall through by accident. That's a good idea. And let's put some fences up here just in case we fall off the edge. And now we'll be able to shoot the rainbow friends from up here and they'll have no way to get up to us. But wait, how will we get back to our base? Wait, you're right, Don. I think we need to make a parkour back to our base so they can't follow us. Wait, that's such a good idea. There's no way the rainbow friends can beat us at parkour. Okay, so you have to test these jumps while I build them, okay, Don? Alright, sounds good. I got this. I'm a parkour master. Alright, Don. Easy. Good job, Don. Okay, so now we'll place a bit harder of a jump back here. Alright, I got this. One and two. Easy. Let's go, Don. Alright, now we'll just add a few more jumps to go back. And now you should be able to get back to the roof. Alright, one, two, and this is a big one. Three. Let's, Let's go, go, Don. Now our watchtower is complete. No way the Rainbow Friends will be able to complete that parkour. Alright, Don. Now I think we're gonna need gear to fight the Rainbow Friends, so I think we should build a secret armory. Hey, that's so true. I need some armor if I'm gonna face up against these guys. Okay, let's go back down into the bottom of our base, and we need to hide it somewhere that they'll never find it. I think we should put it in the fridge. No, Don, I don't think there's enough room in here. But maybe we could put it beside the fridge, like right here. That seems like a great idea. So let's add a sticky piston on the outside, and we'll put our block right here. And now let's put a secret lever right here. And when we press the lever, the floor goes back, so they will never find the room. You're so good at redstone. But now we should hide the lever even more in case they found this. So if I put a slab right here, there's no way to see it unless you crouch. Oh my god, there's no way rainbow friends can crouch. Have you seen the size of those guys? They're ginormous. Okay, so now let's go down into the armory and we'll add some cool armor and tools to fight them. Let's dig this area out, Don, and we'll keep digging this way. Okay, I think we dug enough, Don. I think you just have to break these ones now. And let's line this whole wall with bedrock. Bedrock is so strong. It's almost as strong as the rainbow friends. I think it might be even stronger than the rainbow friends. Hopefully it is, because we don't want them to get in the armory. Alright, now we need to place a bunch of dispensers to get our armor from. So we'll place them like this, and we'll fill this whole thing with protection for obsidian armor like this. Obsidian armor? That's gonna be so powerful. I know, Don. And now let's just place the obsidian boots down here. And there's a full set of OP armor in here, but now we need weapons. Alright, I think we should use the netherite great axe. What is that, Don? This is the absolute strongest weapon. I can one-shot you with this. Wait, this thing looks so cool, Don. I'm gonna put it in there. Alright, and now we have our netherite great axe in there. Now we just need to give ourselves some bows and some arrows. Alright, and now I've given myself an OP bow, and we'll just add this to here. And finally, I'll give myself some harming arrows, because harming arrows do a lot of damage. And now we'll place a fence here, and we'll place a pressure plate right here. And now if I walk inside of this, it'll give me all of the items. And now let's stand on these at the same time, Don. Are you ready? Alright, Don. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! Oh my god, Don. We look so cool. We are so geared. Alright, Don. Now I think we should check on the rainbow friends to see if they broke out yet. Hey, I'm so scared, Eider. They might be coming for us already. Alright, Don. It is getting dark out here. I think they might have escaped. 
It's so dark. I'm getting scared, Eider. Alright, Don. Now I'm going to check the security cameras and let's see if they got out. Oh my god, Don. They're not there anymore and I can't find them anywhere. We need to get to the armory fast. Alright, Don. Let's hit the secret button and go down. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go down here quick. Okay, let's get armored up. Alright, you ready, Don? Oh, you went. Okay, Don. Now okay. we're geared out and ready to fight. I feel a little more confident now. I think I can take him. Let's go find the rainbow friends. Oh my god, Don, they're right here. He's chasing you. Wait, lead them to the oh mines, Don. God. Lead them to the mines. Right. I'm leading them towards all of our traps. They're not ready for this. Oh my god, he just walked over and it did oh nothing, Don. He's Quick. so strong. Quick, go to the beach. All right, I'm going to lure him in the water. He won't be ready for it. Wait, he's walking in the mines and they're not even working. Okay, the water has to get him. Look, the water's killing him, Don. Oh my god, I'm so low on HP. Alright, I'm gonna use my bow. Look, he's gonna die to the water! Oh no, he got out! Don, quick, Running get to, to the, the archer tower. Oh no, open the door I'm quickly. entering the keypad, Don, go, go, go! Alright, Don, let's get up the tower, quick, go! Alright, I'm going up the tower as fast as I can. Quick, Don, the rainbow friend's gonna get you! Wait, I can't even see it from up here, Don! I can't get up, it keeps shooting me through the wall! I fell off! Don't worry, Don, I'm shooting it for you! Okay, thanks, Spider. He's just taking all these arrows. Oh my god, he's hitting me. Never mind. All right, we have to go back to our house fast. All right. Oh my god, Don. Oh my god, Don. Let's get oh back no. fast. Let's use the arrows. Oh wait, we can't I even use it. the arrows. I he's already it. here. What are we going to do? He's hitting me through the wall. Don, I think I know what we have to do. What do we have to do? We have to go fight him ourselves. All right. All right, let's go back down. Are you ready to let him in the house? I'm ready. Let's all go. Right. Oh my god, oh I'm my doing god. so much damage. I'm getting him. Wait, we could do this. We could beat the rainbow friend. Oh my god, he does so much damage to me, Don. I'm getting him. I got this. Oh my god, Don. I'm almost dead. He's running away from me. He's scared. Oh my god, Don. I'm on three arts. I'm chasing him. Oh my him. Don't god, worry. he's still chasing me. You have to hit him. Don't worry. I got this. I got him, Eider. Let's go. We beat the rainbow friends. I can't believe we did it, Don. Let's go. Don, I love this house that we built. I know, right? It's so great, Eider. Yeah, it has walls and doors and a mailbox. It's the perfect house. I know. I love the bushes. Wait, Eider, what is this? I don't know. These toilets keep spawning. Don, kill the toilet quick. I got you. Oh my god, die. That was close, Don. The toilet almost got me, but where do these toilets keep coming from? I don't know. Look, it dropped poop. You, I don't want that, Don. Get that away from me. I don't need it. Yeah. Wait, no. Eider, what's that? I don't know, Don. Has that been there the the whole time i don't know you want to go check it out yeah we have to go investigate that's probably where the toilets are coming from don i'm gonna outrun you no way wait don it looks like there's some type of cave down here wait i see what you're talking about too i see like something moving yeah i think there's the toilets down there <gasps> oh my god you're right i wonder what they're planning down there we have to go check it out yeah they could be plotting something really nasty like poop wait don do you see this trail right here i do do you think the trail leads down to the toilets? It's probably their footsteps. Alright, Don, let's follow the trail, and let's be very careful. They might have some traps laid out for us. Okay, I'll be super, super sneaky, Eider. Okay, let's keep going. Wait, what is this? I don't know. I, it's like sp- <gasps> Don, I don't think you should go down there. This looks like a trap. Yeah, I think I might die if I go in there. But wait, do you see that ladder over there? <gasps> oh my god, that must be the way in. Yeah, that's definitely the way. So we have to go all the way back around to get over there. All right, oh, you should make noise. They're gonna hear us. Eider, I'm scared. Don, the toilets can't get us. They're all the way down there. Come on. Okay, you go first. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna run. I'm not scared of these toilets. <laughs> okay, me too. Definitely not scared. All right, now we have to go all the way down this ladder, Don. Are you ready? Whoa! You just pushed me! I don't think I pushed you, Don. That was just you. Okay, and we made it to the bottom, and now we have to be sneaky, because they're right there. All right, super sneaky, Eider. Okay, oh. and wait, what does the sign say? Turn back now, or you will be dead. I think they meant dead, like D-E-A-D, -E but like, I still understand. Yeah. I don't want to be dead. Okay, Don, I dare you to go out there. Mm, what's in it for me? Uh, you go do it. That's what's in it. Um, okay. If you say so, you make a compelling case. <gasps> oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, Don, what did you see? It's Squidward. Wait, Squidward? I have to go check this out. Don, that's not Squidward. That is a giant toilet, and that is kind of scary. Yeah, I'm really scared, Eider. Okay, I think we have to go back up and secure our house so these toilets don't come get us. I agree. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and see Squidward. All right, Don, the first thing we need to do is switch out these doors, because these doors are too easy to get into. Exactly. Look at this. Ah, that could be a toilet. Okay, that's not really what I meant, but we're going to replace these doors with these scanner doors, and these doors see our faces to let us in. Whoa, 
ho. All right, Don, try going through my door. Okay. Well, sorry, you cannot use this door. It's owned by Eider. It's your door! See, you can't get through, so you need to add your own door beside it. Alright, boom. Hello, Dawn is awesome. That's my door. Yeah, that's your door. And now we're one step safer from the toilets. But that's not gonna be enough to stop these toilets. We need more defenses. I think we need a lot more. Like, lava moats. That's exactly what I was thinking, Dawn. Get your lava bucket out. Alright, first we need to dig a giant moat around this house, Dawn. I bet I can beat you to the other side. <laughs> no way. Alright, Dawn. All right, I'm going. All right, Don, there's no way you're going to win this. I'm going so fast. I'm absolutely zooming top speeds faster than the toilets. Nah, there's no way you can beat me. Wait, how are you all the way over there already? Boom! Don, you were cheating. I'm not going to lie. Nope, no way. Didn't get a head start. Not one bit. Whatever. All right, let's fill it with lava, and I'll definitely beat you this time. All right, go! Oh my god, there's so much lava. Wait, there's a spot missing here. This is your fault. Um, blame it on my construction crew. Don, I think you should try walking in the lava. It's probably really fun. Um, um, yeah, it's kind of like a hot tub. Oh my god, there's another hole here, Don. I have to fix everything. Yeah, that's why I'm the boss. Okay, we're almost done. I think I beat you that time. Mm, maybe. I don't really care. I'm in the hot tub. Don, I don't think that's a hot tub. Well, uh, I do feel hot. Don, get out yeah. of there. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Eider, how are we going to get to the other side? I don't know, Don. We need some type of bridge. That sounds like a really good idea. All right, Don, I'm placing a bridge right now. Where's the bridge? It's right here, Don. <gasps> Invisible bridge? No yeah, it's way. so smart. There's no way the toilets will see it. You're such a genius. Oh my god. Our house is so secure. Yeah, let's just make the bridge a little bit bigger so we don't fall in, though. That's a really good idea, because I might definitely fall in. Yeah, you don't want to do this. No, I don't want to do that either. All right, Dawn, now this house is looking pretty secure, but we need to go put some traps over at the toilet house to make sure that they don't get to us. I agree. It's way too easy to get to us right now. All right, Dawn, I have these gravel mines that are disguised exactly like gravel. That's perfect, because you know, their path is made out of gravel they'll never know exactly and when you walk on them nothing happens see really <gasps> no they blow up but not for me because i placed them oh i get it okay let's be really careful not to step on each other's minds then exactly but these are definitely gonna get the toilets definitely they'll never know it's coming so let's just replace all the gravel with gravel mines <gasps> great idea these toilets are gonna have no idea what hit them all right now that we've placed all these mines we need to go spy on the toilets so luckily i have this security camera that we can go place down there oh my god this is such a good idea we'll be able to know exactly when they're coming. All right, Don, give me the camera back. Okay, Eider. Okay, we have to be careful going down to the toilets again. Yeah, don't push me in, please. Okay. And I'm falling all the way down. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, my God, me too. I'm just kidding, Don. You can catch the ladder at the bottom. You know that saying where it's like, if your friend jumps off a bridge, you jump too? Yeah, that's me. All right, Don, now let's place a camera up here. And do you have a camera monitor with you? Um, no. Okay, well, I have one. So I'm going to right click the camera like this. And now with this camera monitor, I'm going to be able to see through this camera. So, Let's check out this camera right here. And I see you on the camera, Don. <gasps> Wait, let me try. I got one now. That camera doesn't belong to me. All right, I'm gonna put my camera right next to yours. Wait, Don, this is so cool. I can see both of us in the camera. Wait, oh my god, I can see us. I can also see the big toilet. Oh my god. Yeah, I have a perfect view of the toilets. Me too. I think this was a really good idea, Eider. Yeah, there's no way they're gonna sneak up on us now. <laughs> not a chance. All right, Don, but now we have to secure our house even more because our house is still not that secure. I agree. It's secure, but not secure, you know? Alright, Don. what we're gonna do next is place lasers all around the base. I love lasers, Eider. I'm so ready. So, just like the TNT, let's place lasers everywhere. Alright, I'm placing lasers everywhere. And I bet I can beat you to the other side this time. Wait, I'm not very good at placing lasers, Eider. You might beat me. Oh my god, Don. I'm already on the other side. You're so slow. <laughs> no, I'm catching up. Watch me. Oh, Yeah, I definitely I beat you. No, I definitely beat you, Don. I did so many more. Okay. Okay, but there's still another race because we have to place them on the top too. So are you ready to start placing more lasers? Absolutely ready. Go. Okay, Don, I'm so beating you this time again. Absolutely smoking you like barbecue. Wait, my lasers aren't working anymore. Oh. Uh, Wait, these lasers are so weird. Oh, I think it's these ones right here. Okay, Don, now all the lasers are fixed. Yep, there's so many lasers, but I think we forgot something. How are we gonna get in? That is a good question, Don. I think we need to make an entrance right here. I agree. Let's make an entrance, Eider. So let's just start breaking these lasers. And now we have an entrance, but this doesn't look that cool. We need to make it look cool. I agree. I think we need a fancy entrance. Let's make something grand. Okay, Don, I'm gonna get some iron blocks and place them right here, because iron blocks are pretty strong. I I agree. That's really smart. You know what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get some bedrock. The big toilet has no chance of getting 
coming through here. Exactly. He'll stub his toe on the bedrock. Okay, now this entrance actually looks pretty cool, Don. Absolutely dope, Eider. We're such good builders. But we're gonna need some gear to fight these toilets, because we can't fight them with no armor. You're so right. I think we need to get dripped out. Okay, so next we have to go make an armory inside our house, Don. Okay, on my way. And we're not gonna put the armory up here, Don. We have to dig down. <gasps> Underground base? Exactly. So let's start breaking down here. And I think this is far enough down. This is pretty deep. I think that's a perfect distance, Eider. Alright, let's start breaking out like this. And I'm actually just gonna use a command to break this a lot faster. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay, so we select right here, and let's select over here, and boom, there's nothing <gasps> here anymore. Oh my god, you're like a wizard. And now we have a huge basement room. Isn't this cool? Absolutely epic. But we don't want this dirt. I mean, dirt is kind of lame, don't you think? No, I love dirt. Okay, if you say so, but I'm gonna set the floor to something else just for me. Okay, you can have the floor. The rest is mine. And now there's diamond blocks on the floor. Diamond blocks are my favorite block, Dawn. Ew, Eider diamonds okay whatever you can have your dirt all of my diamonds it's fine okay all right don now we need to make a machine to give us all our armor and weapons okay that sounds really complicated so i'm gonna leave that to you i'll watch so i'm gonna place two dispensers here two dispensers here and we'll place one on the bottom and we'll put a fence and a pressure plate and this should activate all the dispensers that's so smart and now we need to make one on the other side for you as well <gasps> oh my god and now we have two armory machines but we need to fill them with armor don what we do Okay, you put your stuff in yours, and I'll put my stuff in mine. It will be a surprise. Okay, Don, that sounds like a good idea. All right, I think I'm gonna pick out some emerald armor, because this sounds really OP. And Don will also like this armor, because it's green, but don't tell Don. It's a surprise. All right, I'm gonna pick cactus armor, because the toilets will never want to touch me, because cactus are so pokey. It's also green, like a frog, and I love frogs. And I think for my weapon, I'm gonna pick a netherite katana, because that sounds so cool. Cool. For my weapon, I'm gonna choose the netherite great axe. And for the final dispenser, I'm gonna put a bunch of enchanted golden apples in it, because those are so OP. Alright, in my final dispenser, I'm gonna add a stack of puffer fish, because if the toilets ever come for me and get through my cactus armor, I'll just throw the puffer fish at them. Alright, Don, are you done loading your dispensers with stuff? Yep, all done, Eider. Okay, now we need a way out of here, because obviously we can't just fly out when we're fighting the toilets. You're so right. Oh, yeah, I can't make that jump. Yeah, that jump's pretty far. I don't think we can make it. We need something else. Like a ladder? Exactly like a ladder, Don. <gasps> oh my god, you always have just what we need. And now we can get back up to the top of our house. Uh, you're so right, Eider. But this armory isn't really that hidden. I mean, the toilets can just see down here. I agree. We we can't have the toilets getting inside our ultra secret super safe armor room. Exactly, Don. How will we protect it? I'm gonna try protecting it with this ghost block. So when I place this block right here, it should turn into a ghost block. You wanna try it out, Don? I do. What do I do? Just stand on the block? Yeah, just stand on the block and you'll go through. Oh my god, it's like the block isn't even there. That's crazy, Eider. Exactly, Don. This is so cool. And now our armory is completely hidden from the toilets. Exactly. But we still need more defenses on our house because what we have right now isn't enough. I agree. I think we need something super defenseful to stop the super toilet. Alright, Don. What we're gonna build next is a giant dispenser defense. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so scary. So, I'm just gonna place four dispensers like this. Okay, not that one. This one needs to go. Yeah, we need to be able to get inside still. And what should we put inside of these dispensers, Don? I was thinking harming potions. That's a great idea, Don. Harming potions do so much damage. Exactly. Instant damage, too. That's a lot, because it's two. All right, Don, do you want to put the potions in the dispensers? I'll put them in. All right, all done, loaded up, ready to fire. All right, Don, but these dispensers aren't just going to fire themselves. We need some redstone to make them fire. <gasps> You're so right, but I do not have a degree in redstone. I need your help, Eider. Don't worry, Don, we just have to place four redstone on top like this, and then we have to put some blocks here to connect it to the ground. Whoa. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, and we'll connect these two in the middle. And now let's put a button here, and we'll press this button, and it fires all the potions. Oh my god, that's insane. Do you see that range? Yeah, that was so far. I wish I could throw that far. Alright, Don, now we have attack, and we have defense. So we need to put attack and defense in the same thing. You're so right. How are we gonna do that? Well, Don, remember the mines we placed over there earlier? That just isn't enough mines. We need more mines. You're so right. Never enough mines. So, Don, let's take a regular mine like this this and let's just make a huge mine maze oh my god those toilets have to be so stupid they carry poop they can't figure out this maze i know don this is such a good idea 
I agree, Eider. All right, Don. Now we have a ton of mines in the ground. There's no way the toilets will find their way through this. <laughs> no chance they'll do that. I mean, they could just go around, but I doubt they're going to do that. They're not smart like that. They'll fall for our trap. And if they make it to the very end, they have no way out anyway. They have to- Alright, Don. now that we have all these mines, I think we need to add some bodyguards to our house. Oh my god, that's so cool. I can't wait to have a bodyguard. I'm gonna name him Bob. Alright, Don. so let's go inside of the house like this. And we need a little area to keep our bodyguards. So let's get some fences and place them like this. And I'm gonna place fences all around here. And now we have a large area to put our bodyguards, Don. And I think you should spawn your bodyguards guard first what are you gonna pick okay Eider, i know exactly what will defend us meet bob oh and that's a fish exactly imagine if you saw a fish in a toilet that'd be so gross Eider. okay i guess that's kind of true but i was thinking of a better defense i'm gonna spawn some iron golems to help us defeat them oh my god these guys are so tough i bet they bench 240 more than that don these guys defend whole villages oh my god they could probably bench each other and we have three iron golems that's so many golems. There's no way the toilets are getting through this. I agree. What are their names? Uh, John, John 2, and John 3. I like John 3 the best. He smiled at me. I feel like John 2 is better. Mm, we'll see. All right, Don, now we need to make a way to let these guys out, though, because they're kind of trapped in here. I agree. Good thing they aren't trapped forever. That would be bad. So I'm just going to add some fence gates right here. And now that's a lot of fence gates. We, we just have to remember to let these guys out. I agree. Release the Johns. No, not yet, Don. The toilets aren't here. True. Okay, but that will that'll be our call. Like, when the toilets come, I'll be like, Eider, release the Johns! And then we know it's time for battle. Okay, Don, that sounds like a great idea. All right, Don, now that we have our bodyguards, we need to make one more bodyguard. Oh my god, I think I know what you're thinking. Let's say on the count of three. Three, two, one, a fire Cameraman, hand. oh. Oh. Well, your idea was good too, but we're gonna build a cameraman. Okay, I, I, can, I can live with that. All right, Don, so let's go to the front of the Skibbity Toilet's house like this. All right, Don, first I'm gonna spawn a regular cameraman. Ooh. He looks pretty good. I'd trust him. Yeah, I don't know why he's making zombie noises, but this is a cameraman. Yeah, he looked kind of scary the way he bounces like that. But this guy isn't really that strong. I mean, he can take out the regular toilets, but he's not going to take out the big guy. So we have a ninja cameraman. This guy is way better. Oh my god, he has plungers. I bet he could take on Squidward Toilet. Yeah, this guy is really powerful, but I don't know if he'll be enough to do it, Don. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, he's a little scrawny. Luckily, we have a third cameraman, the large cameraman. This guy is massive. Oh my god, he's bigger than all the Johns combined. This is our guy, Eider. A hundred percent. Yeah, this large cameraman is gonna do a lot of damage, and we can spawn even more of these guys. Oh my god. These cameramans are OP. All right, now we have a lot of these cameramans. We're definitely going to beat the toilets. The toilets stand no chance against our army, our house, and our armory. Eider, Eider, Oh my here. god, there's so many toilets, Don. We have to run quickly. We need to get in the house now. Oh my god. Oh my god, Don. They're taking out all of our cameramen. We have to run fast. This is bad. Our first line of defense is down. But luckily, we have this bridge. All right, let's go through our doors. And now let's go down to the armory quick. All right, Eider. I can't wait to see what you chose. I'm gonna look so drippy. All right, three, two... Oh, you just went. I'm scared. Don, your armor looks kind of cool, though. Yeah, I do be frog-like, just like you. Me all green and stuff. Don, you can also take some golden apples from down here, because we'll probably need them. Oh, you're so right. All right, this is really good. Okay, eat your golden apples, and let's go back up. All right, let's go fight. Our lives depend on it. Oh my god, Don, they're attacking me. Quick, you have to come back. Oh my god. Yo, Don, they're already destroying all our stuff. This is bad, Eider. What are we gonna do there's so many toilet men oh my god there's so many and the small ones are coming oh i fell all the way down oh my god i'm in a pit i'm on one hp no and they completely Eat destroyed our goals. armory too our house is gone. Don, we have to get back up and kill these guys quick. All right. Don, I'm swimming back up. Oh my god, I got knocked back down. I don't think we can get up, Eider. Don, they completely destroyed our house. Oh no, Eider, my armor's breaking. There's green dye all over the place. All right, Don, I'm going to try digging back up because clearly this isn't going to work. All right. I'm almost back up to the top. I see John. He's still alive. Really? Why isn't he helping us? He's trying his best. All right, Don. I'm digging back up, and I'm going to attack the toilets. All right. That sounds like a plan. Me too. All right, Eider. What's our game plan when we get to the top? I guess we just try to kill them. I don't know. Wow, the top is really far away. I know, right? They put us so far in the ground. It's almost like they wanted us six feet under. The good news is, I don't hear the toilets anymore. Do you? <gasps> you know what? Maybe our lasers got them. That's probably what happened. All right, Don. And we're back Eider! up to the 
Sir, he's still here. Oh my god, Don. I'm gonna kill him. He's attacking me. I need backup. Don, it's not letting me hit him. Oh, oh my god, god he's, he's in the hole with us. With me. Oh my god, this guy's doing so much damage to me. I'm just eating golden him. apples. Me too. Chug. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he can't see it. Wait, he can't see us anymore. We can be really sneaky. Wait, this is really good. If we dig in the wall, he probably won't see us. I'm like a ninja. Me too. Not like the ninja cameraman, though. He died. Oh my god, Don, oh, he found us. I'm hitting him. Okay, what? good. He can't I think me. he's focusing on me. Yeah, Don, he's focusing on me. Keep hitting him. Yeah, I'm hitting him with potions, too. Come on, Don. He has to be so low. I'm gonna get him. I'm all the way down at the bedrock now. I got him. Nice, Don. And wait, what did he drop? He dropped... A totem. Wait, Don, that probably wasn't a good idea. You shouldn't have used it there. Well, I wanted to get to you to make sure you were safe. Okay, but now we have to make sure there's no more toilets up there. True. Alright. Placing blocks. Placing blocks. I love blocks. Dirt, especially. Yeah, this sucks that we're using dirt, honestly. Yeah. It shouldn't be wasted like this. It's a national treasure. Aha, uh -huh, Don. You're getting trapped. Wait, how'd you get up? It's because I'm using dirt. Wait, but I'm using dirt, too. So it should cancel out. Yeah, but dirt knows you don't respect dirt like me. Alright, Don. We should be almost at the top. Yeah. Don, I'm almost out of dirt. You have to build the rest of the way. Okay, I got it. Wait, Don, I can't follow you. Okay, it's fine. I'll just break the dirt and come up. Alright, Don, do you see anything up there? Okay, this isn't funny, Don. Okay, I'll let you come up. And you can see... There's that more cameraman! Cameraman? Oh, sorry. I was trying to scare you, and it didn't go like I planned. Okay, well, Don, the toilets absolutely destroyed our world. But look, our house is, like, almost okay. Yep, exactly. I knew these lasers were just too good. They can never get through. Yeah, I would say our house was pretty secure. I agree. It's still livable and look john is still alive oh my god Don. there's one more that's just a lame toilet we beat the big guy already yeah all right i think we should be good now but yeah that's john too over there today we're doing a garden of ban ban mob battle oh i'm totally gonna beat you guys i know garden of ban ban like the back of my hand all right cart get to your side okay all right don i wonder what mob he's gonna spawn he seems to be holding like a gray egg i wonder what mobs are gray in ban ban Ooh, I'm thinking it might be Stinger Flynn. Ooh, maybe, but I don't think he's gray. Really? Oh, he's huh. spawning Banbolina, look. Oh, alright, I think we can do better than that. Yeah, Banbolina's gonna be hard to beat, but I think we could beat her with Banban, -Ban, don't you think? I agree. I like how Banban's, like, so big. Alright, let's spawn a bunch of Banbans over here, Don. Okay. Banban -Ban is so big and red and scary. He's amazing. He's gonna win for us. Yeah, we win this for sure. Wow, Eider, we have so many Banbans. There's just no way they'll lose to the Bambolinas. Wait a second, what is Cart building over here? Is he making a beacon? I don't know, it looks like some kind of pyramid. You might be right. Yeah, maybe he's making an altar to ritual his Bambolinas into getting stat boosts. We should give our Banban some potions. Hmm, maybe that's true, Don. Alright, I'm giving them all fire resistance. Come, help me splash them. Okay, and I think I'm going to give them some strength, Don. That's a really good idea, Eider. This way, our Banbans will be unstoppable. Yeah, there's no way he's winning now. Okay, now our Banbans are big and strong. I think we're ready to fight. I agree. Okay, Cart, are you ready? I am ready. Alright, you're going down. Let's take down the walls. Three, two, one, go. Wall down! Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, the Banbans are going crazy. This is an Bambolina's battle. There's no way the Banvans lose this one. Cart, you're getting destroyed. No way my tower is gonna come in here. Our strength Banvans went in crazy, Dawn. For real, our Banvans are absolutely destroying the competition. Look at these guys go. Look, some of his Banvalinas aren't even fighting. Ha, come on, guys, get in the fight. Your army won't even obey you. Cart, just give up now. No, I will never give up. Now my banbans are getting the effects from your beacon, too. Your beacon worked against you. How tragic your own beacon would work against you. We foiled okay. your plans once again. No, these four remaining ones are gonna come in clutch here. That banban just died. Ooh, banban's fighting over here. Come on, banban, ban, you, you got, got this. It. No! Let's go! How are the banbalinas still alive? There's like 30 banbans over here, and they're not fighting. Alright, you know what? Let's fix this. Alright, now you're gonna die, Cart. Oh my god, no. It's okay, I got one Bambolina left. He's got it. Oh, there's they're one going in? Wait, no, there's You're... two Bambolinas. Wait, it's okay. Two in a dream. Only one oh. remains. No, I can't believe I lost. Okay, Don, let's go see what card is gonna spawn next. Wait, it looks like he's spawning some kind of jellyfish. Do you know who that is, Don? That's Stinger Flynn. This is him now. 
Wow, Don, look at them all bouncing around. We need to find something that can beat this. I agree. I've heard Stinger Flint is very powerful, so let's make our choice carefully. Okay, Don, you know who else is powerful? Who? Don, let's spawn Nab Nab. I agree. Alright, Don, let's spawn a bunch of Nab Nabs. Wait, that one has a Bambolina on it. What? What? <laughs> even better for us. More power. That's not even better. Bambolina lost to us last time, Don. True. Bambolina is such a noob. Oh my god, look at our Ban Ban. He's ready for battle. Wait, Don, our Nab Nabs are going on the other side. We need to stop them. They're cheating. Don't worry. I will stop them. I always encourage a respectful and fair fight. I would never cheat. Wait, Don, this one's getting through. Okay, I've blocked them off, Don. They shouldn't be able to get through anymore. Good job, Eider. Now we can respectfully defeat Cart. Yo, what is this spider eye doing here? Wait, what? I think he found out that we let them go over top. Oh no, I hope he won't be angry. That was weird. Wait, Don, I think Cart's building something over there. Is he using sand? What could he possibly be building with sand? I don't know, but Cart always seems to be building something. I agree. I wonder what he could be doing. Maybe we should build something to help our nab nabs? Don, what do you think he could be building? Hmm, at this point, I think it might be a sand castle. Whoa, a sand castle? That's so cool, Don. We should build something on our side. We should build a rock castle. I don't know what that means, but sure. Okay, Don, let's put our rock castle over here. Building rock castle. Building rock castle. Don, I don't think this is centered. It's okay. Have you seen the old castles? They're the best. I can't say I have. What is your favorite old castle, Don? I like the castle at Disneyland. Whoa, Disneyland castle? That's so cool, Don. Yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, my blocks are invisible. Are you seeing this too? No, I'm actually not. Wow, look at our nab nabs. They are prepared and ready to die for us. Yeah, I think they really like this castle, Don. Wow, and it looks like we're almost finished the castle. Yep, now it just needs the peak on top. And we need a flag, Don. Yes, exactly. Do you know what kind of flag we make? A nab nab flag? A frog flag. No, I think we should put a duck flag. I think we should make a frog flag. Alright, rock, paper, scissors! Uh, paper. Uh, rock. Wait. Wait. That means I win. Alright, Don, look at our flag. This looks so good. Alright, we should see if Cart is ready to fight now. Hey, Cart! Yeah? Are you ready? Oh, I am so ready. Alright, <laughs> let's drop the wall, Don. Are you ready? I'm so ready! Three, two, one, go! Fall down! Wait, they all just died! Oh my god, they Wait. all just died! No! Wait! Oh my god! Wait, our whole Nab Nab army just died of fall damage! This is so Stinger. tragic! Stinger Flynn is crazy overpowered! But wait, Don, look at all the Nab Nabs on top of our castle! They're definitely gonna clutch this one! Wait, these Nab Nabs are beating up Stinger Flynn in the corner! Go Nab Nab! Yes! Oh no, they died! It looks like our Nab Nabs are gonna lose, Don! I know, this is so sad. I really didn't think they'd lose to Stinger Flynn. It looks like we only have four left. I really hope they clutch up. Wait, Don, I have an idea. Yeah? You see this beach over here? Look how many of these guys are in here. Oh my god, there's so many. I wonder if we can help out our Nab Nabs. Let's put some fake water in here. Such a good idea. I'll help too. Wait, what are you guys doing? Oh my god, Wait. Eider, it's working. They're getting destroyed. Take that, Cart. Oh my god, what is happening to my Stinger Flynn army? Look how many Stinger Flynns we killed, Don. Oh my god, so many. Come on, Stinger Flynn. Okay, I don't think our Nab Nabs are ever gonna get down. I think we're gonna have to teleport them down. Alright, send them in with a valiant champ. Come on, Nab Nabs. Oh no, one of them already died. Eider, I think they might lose. There's only three left. Yeah, Don, it's not looking good. Stinger Flynn is too strong. No! The last oh. Nab Nab died. Stinger Flint was so overpowered. That wasn't even fair. I told you guys he was gonna win. Alright, I guess it's 1 1, but we're gonna win the next round, Cart. You're going down. Ain't no yes. way. Alright, Don, it's time for round 3, and we can't lose this. We have to see what Cart is doing. Oh my god, do you see what he's holding? I think that's an Opilla Bird egg. No, that doesn't look like Opilla Bird. Hmm. It could be Jumbo Josh. Wait, no, it's Mini Josh. Mini Josh. Wait, that's so easy to beat, Don. I know what we should do. Jumbo Josh. That's exactly what I was thinking. 
All right, Eider, do you think one Jumbo Josh can be all the mini Joshes? I think so. All right, I will spawn one Josh. Whoa. There he is. He's so Jumbo. He is Jumbo and glorious. Wait, Jumbo Josh is going crazy. All right, maybe we need to hold this guy back. All right, let's hold him back, Don. Wait, no, he's still going crazy. All right, Don, there's no way Jumbo Josh is getting out of here. Yeah, Jumbo Josh, more like Jumbo Box. All right, Don, let's see what card is up to. Whoa. Oh my god, are those carrots? I'm gonna build a farm for them so they can eat their vegetables and be nice and strong. Hey, Don, I think we should build a farm for Jumbo Josh to make him grow big and strong. I agree. Maybe he'll turn into Mega Joshua. All right, Don, let's build a farm over here. All right, let's make sure he gets lots of peas. No peas, Don. Just carrots. Whatever you say. Okay, Don, now let's put a farm inside of here. I'll place the water, you place the dirt. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, never mind, I'll place the dirt too. Wait, Don! What? This is coarse dirt, this isn't regular dirt. We can't use this. Silly me. Out of all people, you would forget what dirt it is? I love placing dirt. Placing dirt. Placing dirt. Alright, Don, now let's place the water. Oh no, Don, there's a hole in the ground. Leakage! Alright, let's fill in a little bit more water. And this water looks so good. Now we just have to hoe the dirt. Alright, Don, let's hoe the dirt. Okay. This farm is gonna be so OP. It's gonna make Jumbo Josh so strong. I hope he turns into Mega Joshua. What about Ultra Josh? That's a thing? No. You got me excited. I'm sorry, Don. Alright, let's <laughs> plant the carrots now. Okay. I'll make sure I get no peas in here. Wait, I'm eating the carrots. Oh no. That's good for your health, Eider. You'll grow up to be big and powerful. No, Don. I hate vegetables. Really? I understand, because some kids hate vegetables, and some kids hate reading. I hate reading. Alright, Don. Now finally let's bone meal all our crops. Bone meal. <laughs> bone meal. Okay, Eider. I got my bone meal suit on. I'm ready to bone meal some plants. Whoa, Don. Where'd you get that from? I've been saving it for this special occasion. Okay, Don. I think it's time that we drop the walls now, don't you think? I agree. I think Josh is ready. Let's let him out. Let's see if Cart is ready first. Oh, I am ready. All right. Let's get ready to rumble. Jumbo Josh is in action. Come on, mini Josh. Oh, Jumbo Josh is getting surrounded. But it looks like Jumbo Josh has this one easily. I think Jumbo Josh is going to take them all out. Almost all your Joshes are gone. Someone might say it's time to panic. Don, stop doing that. I'm sorry. I'll get rid of the panic button. Whoa, there's actually a lot of mini Joshes left still. I know. Oh, mini I Josh. Hope Josh isn't too hurt. There's no way Jumbo Josh loses. These guys probably aren't even doing damage. Come on, Mini Josh, make sure you eat your vegetables. Alright, Jumbo Josh has got this. There's like two Mini Joshes left, Cart. There's a few Joshes by the farm, but I don't think they stand any chance against Joshua. Here, take some carrots, Mini Josh. Get powered up. Look at him taking out all the Joshes. My button helps. Cart, I can't believe there's still Mini Joshes left. You should just give up. No way. I still got one left. Like, look at these guys. They're not even hitting Jumbo Josh. Five left. That's okay. This mini Josh has got it. Here, take some carrots. Those carrots aren't gonna help you. See, he doesn't even want the carrots. Oh, no. All right, Cart. It looks like you lost. No. And that's the last of them. Jumbo Joshua won. Hey, you can't hit Jumbo Josh with a spatula. Yes, I can. No. That's cheating. What? It's fine, Don. We already won. So true. You stand no chance in the last round, Kart Racer. Alright, Don. I wonder what Kart's gonna spawn in for the final round. I don't know. I bet it's gonna be something scary, though. Wait, he's building out of iron? What? Wait, that's Opilibird? From an iron golem? That's really weird, Don. I agree. I didn't know Opilibird had pumpkins inside them. So how do you think we should beat Opilibird, Don? I think maybe we should use something that flies. Whoa, Don, maybe we should spawn Zolfius. Yes, Zolfius will never lose. That's so smart. Let's spawn a bunch of Zolfiuses just in case, because it's the final round. I agree. Let's get these guys ready to rumble. <laughs> hey, Don, doesn't this guy kind of look like a ping pong paddle? <laughs> maybe. I was thinking he looked more like an egg. I don't really see that one. Don, all I know is Zolfius is really scary. I wouldn't want this guy under my bed. Exactly. I'd be worried. 
he might crack an egg on my head. I don't think he does that, Don. Okay, but I still wouldn't want him under my bed. Me either. All right, let's go see what Cart is up to. Wow, he's building a treehouse. Whoa. I'm going to build a nest because that's where birds belong. All right, Don, what should we build for Zolfius? I think we should build him a ping pong table. I do too, Don. Let's find something in the furniture mod, Don. I agree. That's a great idea. All right, Don, I'm placing the ping pong table. Wow, this looks so good, Don. Maybe we can, Don. You lose. <laughs> what the heck, Eider? I wasn't ready. You know I have to put on my snowball fighting suit. All right. Try me now. You're still losing, Don. Wait, my feet are stuck in the snow. I can't move. <laughs> ah, joke's whoa, on whoa, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don, you cheated. You lied to me. It's just called a tactic, Eider. Don't be silly. Alright, I think Cart is probably finished by now. Let's see if he is. I agree. Cart, are you ready for a mob battle? I'm ready, Freddy. Wait, Don, do you see that armor he's wearing? Huh, what is that? Tree bark armor? I don't know, maybe it gives him superpowers. We should get some armor to be safe. I agree. I know just the armor to choose. Check out this molten armor, Don. That looks so cool, Eider. Check out my armor. Whoa, you're invisible. I know, this way they'll never find me. Okay, let's take down the walls now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have the event of the century. We have Kart Racer 41 in the left corner, hailing from the hills, the Extreme Hills Village legend himself, leader of the Opilla Birds, and in the right corner, we have the iconic duo, Dawn and Eider, defenders and defeaters of the Rainbow Friends and Friends. Let's get ready to rumble! Whoa, Zolfius is going crazy. The Opilla Birds aren't even fighting back. Cart, your Opilla Birds don't seem to fight. Come on, Opilla Birds, fly. Wow, there's not even any in this perfectly good treehouse. Your treehouse is useless. No, why aren't they flying? Hey, Don, what do you think of this fight? I think we're gonna destroy them. They can't even reach us, stupid birds. Yeah, let's hit our own Zolfiuses just to flex. <laughs> I agree. I'm just absolutely murdering this one. Just because he looked at me funny. Hey, I'm gonna join you. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, they're, they're starting to die, Dawn. We can't hit them anymore. Okay, I think I'll give them a helping hand. I'll spawn a tree down just in case they need something to hide against. Kurt, why are your Opilla birds so useless? I don't know, man. I really thought they were gonna win. Wow, look at this Opilla bird dying. Come on, Opilla bird, fight through it. He's not even moving, Cart. Oh, no. he's dead. Whoa, Don, what is this? Are these turtles? Yeah, I like turtles. All right, Cart, any last words? No, I know he's got it. Come on, Impilla Bird. Come on. Oh, he's moving. Let's go, Impilla Bird. Fight through it. But it wasn't enough. Let's go. Victory Royale. Wow, Don, we are so good at mob battles. I know. I never thought we'd lose. Let's get this guy off of the server. What? What the heck? Today, I installed a mod that adds a bunch of new golems to Minecraft. From the leaf golem to the netherite golem, I'm gonna be rating all of these golems from 1 to 10 to see which are the best new golems. The first golem I'm gonna make is the leaf golem, which has 6 hearts and it gives potion effects to self. So let's get our leaves like this, and we'll place some leaves down right here. And now let's just put the golem head on it. And this is our leaf golem. He has regen particles, so that's what it means when it says that he heals himself. But other than that, I don't really see what this guy does. I mean, he's just a leaf golem. You punch him, nothing really happens. What if we put a sapling in front of him? Will he grow it? Nah, it doesn't look like he's growing the sapling. I don't know what this guy is really supposed to do. The last test. Let's see what happens if you kill the leaf golem. Do you get anything useful? You get an apple, redstone, and leaves. Okay, I mean, that's not that bad. That's kind of like a tree. I won't lie, the leaf golem probably isn't that useful, so I'm gonna give this guy like a 2 out of 10, but there's so many more golems for us to look at, so let's open this book up again, and let's go back to this page, and the next golem we have is the TNT golem, which is obviously obviously built with TNT, and it says caution, may explode randomly. This one sounds a lot more interesting than the leaf golem, so let's get our TNT, and we'll place this TNT here, and we'll put the golem head, and this is the TNT golem. Yeah, this guy looks way better than the leaf golem. His eyes look kind of strange though, I don't really know why they're green. I guess it's because a regular golem has red eyes, and the TNT is red, so they had to be green. It said the TNT golem explodes randomly, but I'm not really seeing it yet. He doesn't seem to be blowing up. I wonder if maybe we have to give him a mob to fight first, so let's see if this 
husk makes him explode. Oh, he has particles. Oh, and he actually exploded. That was actually pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of useless though, because the golem is dead now, but it was cool. The TNT golem was definitely a lot better than the leaf golem, but I still don't think he was that good. So I'm probably going to give this guy a four out of 10. So let's go back to the golem book again. And next we have the moss golem with 40 health. That's a lot of health. He places moss carpet and gives potion effects to himself. Okay, let's get our moss block and let's just spawn the moss golem over here. Okay, it kind of looks like this guy is wearing a ghillie suit. I don't really know if this guy looks that good. He does seem to have some kind of flower on his back though, so I guess that's kind of cool. But other than that, I don't really know. This guy is kind of boring. He also only has one eye, so that's kind of strange. But yeah, it says he places moss carpet and that's all he really did. He placed two moss carpets and then he stopped. So yeah, I don't know about this guy. I'm probably going to give him like a one out of ten. We don't even need to see what he drops. I mean, he has 40 hearts. I'm not killing this guy. The next golem is the straw golem, which is actually interesting because it says it grows nearby crops, which actually sounds kind of useful. So let's just build our straw golem. And this is how the straw golem looks. He looks just like the other ones, except he's made out of straw. But now we can get a crop and let's see him grow it. So let's just place crop right here and he should grow this. At least that's what it says. He doesn't seem to have any interest in growing it though. He's just walking away. What if we add a few more? Oh, let's just place some more here. And now there's no way he doesn't grow these, right? Come on, do what it says you're supposed to do. Okay, I don't know if the straw golem is all that useful if he's not even going to grow the crops. Maybe I have to right click him or something or give him the hoe. Nope, he's just walking away. He doesn't even want the hoe. If the straw golem can't do the one thing it's supposed to do, I'm going to have to give this guy a zero out of 10. I mean, this is just bad. He's just not growing the crops at all. Okay, on to the next golem, I guess. The next golem is the melon golem, which plants flowers and gives potion effects to itself. They all seem to give potion effects to themselves. I don't know why. So let's just get a melon out and we'll place these melons like usual and we'll put the head on top. And yeah, it's just another golem. But this time, this guy looks kind of interesting. I mean, he has leaves for arms and melons for fists. That's pretty cool. But other than that, he's just a melon. Just a big giant melon. Wait, did he place that flower? I'm pretty sure he planted that flower. It did say the melon golem is supposed to plant flowers, so it would not be impossible for him to place that. I don't think this flower spawns here naturally. Let's just wait and see if he places another flower. Okay, this is taking way too long. I don't think he's gonna place a flower again. Let's see what we get when we kill the melon golem. All you get is some melon seeds and some melons. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, he is a giant melon, so. And over here, the straw golem still hasn't grown the crops. Okay, this guy is just useless. Okay, it's time to move on to the next golem, and the next golem is the honey golem, which has 42 health. I think that's the most health we've seen yet, and he gives potion effects to the enemy and splits in two. Okay, we have to see what happens here. So I'm assuming he's made with honey blocks, so let's place some honey blocks right here, and we'll place the golem head on top, and yeah, this is the honey golem. I wonder how this guy splits in two. That's so weird. But first, let's spawn a husk, and let's see if he gives potion effects to him. Yeah, he gives him a bunch of different potion effects when he hits him, and the husk isn't even fighting back. I guess he just got paralyzed by all the effects or something. We didn't see the honey golem split in two, though. I'm wondering what that looks like still. I wonder if I right-click him, it'll do anything. Nope, he's not splitting into two yet. Maybe he has to get hit to split into two, so let's spawn a warden. Oh yeah, he split into two tiny honey golems, but they died instantly. So yeah, when you kill the honey golem, who seems to be giving me a ton of potion effects, by the way, I just got so many different effects. He spawns two tiny honey golems, which actually look pretty cool. I mean, this is kind of funny. And when you hit these golems, they don't give you potion effects, though. The tiny ones are useless, but they do look pretty cool. So because he spawns tiny golems, which is actually kind of unique, I'm gonna give the honey golem an 8 out of 10. I mean, this one's definitely my favorite so far. But there's still more golems to look at, so let's open the book. And next we have the wool golem, which doesn't really do anything, it just says it's the wool golem. And we have the mangrove root golem on the other page, so let's spawn both of these. For the first golem, we have the wool golem, so let's just spawn this. And yeah, that's the wool golem. He's got a little bit of drip on him, actually. He seems to be wearing some black clothes, which is kind of cool. I do have a question, though. If I spawn a golem with red wool, is he gonna be red instead? Yeah, he has red clothes instead. That's actually pretty cool. That is all they really do, though. There is literally nothing else on the page. But yeah, the wool golem is pretty sick. I'm gonna give this guy a 5 out of 10, just because he has drip. And next, we're gonna make the mangrove root golem, which just says it regens health naturally, like all the other golems. And yeah, this is just a mangrove root golem. I mean, there's nothing really special about this guy. I wonder what happens when you kill him, and you just get mangrove roots. Yeah, honestly, the mangrove root golem is pretty lame. I'm gonna give this guy like a 1 out of 10. Up next in the book, we have the nether wart golem, which gives fire protection and plants nether wart. So to make it, we need a warped wart block. So let's get some of these. And now we have a blue nether wart golem. This guy looks pretty cool. I also want to check out the red one, obviously. So let's spawn one of these as well. And yeah, this guy doesn't look as good. The vines never even change color, but the blue one looks pretty cool. And as you can see, he has fire resistance, just like it says. The wart golem is also supposed to be able to plant nether wart. So let's give him some soul sand underneath him and maybe he'll do it. Or he'll just walk away from the soul sand, I guess. You can't get away from the soul sand. Come on, you have to plant some nether wart. Oh wait, he actually did plant some nether wart. That's pretty cool. Honestly, since there's two different colors of wart golems, I'm gonna give the wart golem a 5 out of 10. I mean, he's all 
Alright, planting nether wart isn't that useful because you can just plant nether wart yourself, but I mean, he still looks pretty cool. Next up, we have the redstone golem, and it says the redstone golem provides redstone power, which makes sense because he's the redstone golem. So let's just place some redstone on the ground and see if it's actually accurate. He provides a lot of redstone power too. This is not running out. So the redstone golem is probably pretty useful, so I'm gonna give this guy like a 6 out of 10. And now let's move on to the next page of golems, which is the clay golem and the mud golem. These golems don't seem to have any use in the book, so we're just gonna speed run these. This is the clay golem. It's literally just a clay golem, that's it. And this is the mud golem. It doesn't look much better, but he has a flower on his head, which is pretty cool. I'm probably gonna give the clay golem like a 3 out of 10. He doesn't really do much. And I'll give the mud golem a 4 out of 10, just because he has a flower on his head. The next page of golems looks a bit more useful. We have the sandstone golem. All he has is fire protection. Actually, he's not that useful, but the crafting golem, which you can right click to open a crafting menu. We have to see that. So first, let's spawn the sandstone golem. And all he really is is sandstone golem. That's it. It's just like the clay golem and the mud golem. He's just there. He's just a golem. But we'll spawn the crafting golem next. And the crafting golem actually looks pretty cool. I mean, his eyes look kind of strange. I don't really know if his eyes match his body, but if I right click this guy, I get a crafting table, which is actually really cool. This means as long as I have a crafting golem, I don't even need to carry crafting tables with me. That's sick. So because of that, I'm going to give the crafting table a 7 out of 10 because he's actually useful. And I'm going to give the sandstone golem a 2 out of 10. I mean, he just has no use. In the next page of golems, we have the lapis golem and the polished granite golem. Okay, that might be the most useless golem I've heard of yet. But first, we'll spawn the lapis golem, which is going to be similar to the redstone golem, I think. Yeah, they look kind of the same, except the lapis golem has some gold marks on him. I don't really know why he has gold marks on him. The lapis block doesn't have that. And let's also check out the polished granite golem. Yeah, I don't know why this guy exists. I mean, he doesn't look that bad, to be fair. When you hit the lapis golem, he's supposed to give potion effects to you, so let's see what he does. Okay, I got nothing so far, and I still got nothing. Okay, I don't think he's actually giving potion effects. I think it was a lie. Okay, yeah, I think the potion effects thing was a lie, so because of that, I'm gonna have to give this guy a 3 out of 10. I mean, he doesn't even do the thing he's supposed to do. And the granite golem looks a little bit better than I thought he would, so I'm gonna give this guy a 4 out of 10. I mean, he's kind of useless, but he looks pretty cool. On the next page, we have the raw gold golem and the librarian golem, and these golems still don't really have any use, so we're just gonna speed run these ones as well. The raw gold golem looks alright. He doesn't look that bad. It's just like a raw gold block, though. And the librarian golem actually looks pretty terrible. What is this? This looks really strange. It's literally the bookshelf texture on a golem. That's it. I'm gonna have to give this guy a 1 out of 10. This is just awful. Wait, where'd he go? Okay, he literally just teleported away because I gave him a 1 out of 10. Or wait, did he give himself invisibility? Okay, that's actually pretty cool that he can do that. I'm gonna have to up the rating to like a 3 out of 10 now. And the raw gold golem a 2 out of 10. I mean, what is the use of a raw gold golem? Like, why is this even in the game? Alright, we still have a lot more golems to go, so let's open the book again. And the next golems we have is the honeycomb golem and the log golem. And the honeycomb golem summons a bee, and the log golem does nothing, but it looks like you can make it from any type of wood, so we're gonna have to test that. So first, let's spawn a honeycomb golem like this, and this thing looks pretty bad. He looks kind of like the raw gold golem, because the honeycomb looks similar, but he summons a bee, so we have to see that. Come on, summon the bee. Maybe if I right-click him? No, he's not summoning the bee. I guess we just have to wait. While we're waiting for him to do that, I'm gonna spawn the log golem. So let's get a regular oak log, and we're gonna get a stripped mangrove log as well. And first, let's test the oak log, and yeah, it's just an oak log golem like you would expect. But if we spawn a mangrove log golem, apparently it's gonna look like a mangrove log as well. And no, wait, no, it does. That is a mangrove log, but it's not a stripped mangrove log like it showed. But that is still pretty cool, because that means we could make a birch log golem, and that's gonna look pretty interesting. Yeah, this is a strange looking golem, but it is a birch log golem. Now let's see if the honeycomb golem has spawned a bee yet, and it doesn't look like he's spawning them. So I'm gonna have to just rate this guy. If he did spawn a bee, he would be pretty cool, so I'm probably gonna rate him a 5 out of 10. And as for the log golem, I'm also gonna rate him a 5 out of 10, just because you can spawn different log golems. So on the next page of golems, we have a dried kelp golem and a raw copper golem, which also don't really seem to do anything, so I'm just gonna spawn them quickly. So here's the dried kelp golem, and this is what he looks like. He looks pretty lame. That's like a 2 out of 10. And the raw copper golem. This guy's definitely a little nicer than the raw gold golem, because you can see he's getting oxidized in random parts, but he still doesn't look that great, so he's probably like a 4 out of 10. Next on the list, we have the coal golem and the sponge golem, and the sponge golem seems really interesting, because he absorbs water. So first, we'll spawn the coal golem right here, and apparently the coal golem gave effects to enemies, so let's see. Nope, he's still not doing anything. Yeah, the coal golem doesn't look that bad. He's probably like a 5 out of 10, but now let's check out the sponge golem. I'm gonna spawn the sponge golem in the water, so let's just spawn him down here, and apparently he's supposed to absorb water, and yeah, he's absorbing water just like a sponge. This is so sick. And you can even see he has water particles on him, because he's absorbing the water, so he's turning into a wet sponge golem. I mean, that's kind of strange, but whatever. I will say he looks pretty bad, though. He doesn't look that great, but since it's such a unique golem, I'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10, because absorbing all this water is really cool. But now let's see if the next golems can top that. And for 
for our next golem, we have the Slimy Golem and the Skulk Golem. The Slimy Golem has a massive knockback attack and splits in two, and the Skulk Golem has fire protection and places Skulk Veins. These guys are definitely interesting. So let's start with the Slimy Golem, which we'll make with slime blocks like this, and he doesn't look that interesting right now, but apparently he has a massive knockback attack. So let's spawn a husk, and let's see this knockback. Oh my god, he actually went flying. It's definitely not as far as I thought it would be, but he launches him pretty high to make up for it. And apparently the slime splits into two, just like the honey golem, so let's see this. Wow, he has a lot of health. And yeah, he splits into two slime golems. The slime golem might be my favorite so far because of that, so I'm gonna give this guy a 9 out of 10. I mean, this is definitely a great golem. And let's also check out the skulk golem real quick. I definitely like how he has like a warden type face on him. That looks pretty cool. He's also supposed to spawn skulk under him, but I'm not really seeing any skulk under him. That's kind of weird. I'm gonna take the mod's word for it though, and I'm gonna believe that he spreads skulk. And this guy has a pretty cool design, so because of that, I'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10. This guy looks pretty sick. Now it's time to move on to the next golems, and the next golem we have is the purper golem and the stem golem. The purper golem teleports randomly, and the stem golem has fire protection and plants fungus. So first, let's spawn the purper golem like this, and that guy doesn't look that bad. He even has enderman particles to show that he teleports, but we're not gonna wait for him to teleport. I believe the mods, so I'm just gonna give this guy a 5 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad. And here's the stem golem. This is the red stem golem. Similar to the wart golem, he still has the wrong color vines, which looks kind of weird, but other than that, he looks pretty cool, and I'm assuming you can spawn another color stem golem as well. And yeah, there's a blue one as well. I kind of forgot what these guys are supposed to do, but do we really want to wait for it? These guys kind of look like the wart golem, but worse, so I'm just going to give them a 3 out of 10. The next golems are the mushroom golem and the raw iron golem, and honestly, we already know what these are going to look like, so I'm probably just going to skip them. And next, we have the shroom light golem and the terracotta golem, which has some weird transcriptions on the bottom, so we definitely have to check this guy out. But first, we're going to spawn a shroom light golem, and I'm just going to set it to nighttime to see if he really emits light. Yeah, it seems like he's lighting up the area around him. This one is actually pretty sick. So because of that, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. But the next golem had some weird transcriptions on the bottom, so we have to get to the bottom of this and see what happens. So right now, we just have a regular terracotta golem. That's it. But I don't really know what the transcriptions were about. Maybe I need to use glazed terracotta. So let's take some glazed terracotta like this, and we'll place a head on top, and it just does nothing. So I have no idea what these transcriptions were for. Honestly, I'm just going to give this guy a 1 out of 10. He looks pretty lame with nothing on him. I'm not going to lie. The next golems we have seem to have a ton of features. This is the Skulk Catalyst Golem and the Magma Golem. The Skulk Catalyst Golem has fire protection, provides light, places Skulk Veins, and gives potion effects to the enemy. And the Magma Golem has fire protection, provides light, lights creatures on fire, and splits in two. So first, let's spawn a Skulk Catalyst Golem like this. And he looks like the Skulk Golem, but he actually looks a lot better. It's basically the Skulk Golem with some Skulk Catalyst details on it. So that actually looks pretty cool. He's supposed to give enemy mobs potion effects, and this never really seems to work on me. Okay, never mind. I literally just got blinded and I wasn't even the one being attacked. And this blindness is literally lasting forever. Can this go away? So because of that, I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10. I mean, this guy looks pretty sick and he does what it said he would do. And now let's spawn the magma golem and see what happens with this guy. Apparently the magma golem is supposed to set mobs on fire. So let's spawn a husk right here. And he didn't really set him on fire. Let's try again. Okay, now he set him on fire. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if husks burn in the daytime. I'm not really sure. But yeah, the magma golem also splits into two. So let's see that quickly. And yeah, there's two little magma golems. That's so cool. The magma golem definitely had the most features so far, but he doesn't look that great, so I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10. Next, we have the concrete golem and the coral golem, and the concrete golem seems pretty lame. I mean, he's probably the same as the terracotta golem, so we're not even gonna spawn this guy, but apparently the coral golem is an advanced swimmer, so we have to see that. So let's get a couple coral blocks, because I'm pretty sure he's gonna have different colors. At least I hope he does, and we'll spawn the first one right here, and we have a blue coral golem who's just standing in the water. He's not really swimming, and let's just also spawn a red one, and yeah, they actually have different colors. But I wonder if that means you can spawn a dead golem too. So let's spawn some dead coral. And yeah, there's a dead coral golem as well. That's pretty sick. As for advanced swimming, I don't really think they're swimming. They're just kind of standing in the water. Maybe we'll give them a little bit of time. And wait, the dead golem actually transformed into an alive coral golem because he was in the water. That's actually a pretty crazy feature. But yeah, they don't really seem to be swimming. So because of that, I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10. I mean, they're not drowning either, but they're definitely not swimming. On the next page, we have the packed mud golem and the brick golem, which also have no features. So we're just going to skip over these guys. I mean, we already know what they're gonna look like. And on the next page, we have the polished diorite golem and the smooth stone golem, which also have no features, so we're gonna skip them as well.
though. But the next page, we have the ice golem and the nether brick golem. The ice golem freezes water and cools lava, which is definitely pretty cool, but makes no sense because how is it cooling lava? It's ice. And the nether brick golem has fire protection and lights creatures on fire, similar to the magma golem. So let's just spawn our ice golem right here by the water. And yeah, he turns the water to ice. Oh my god, look at those eyes. Okay, those eyes look way too goofy. I don't really know what's wrong with those eyes there. But yeah, you turn the water to ice just like it said he does, and the golem design looks pretty cool other than the eyes. But we have to see what he does to lava, because that makes no sense. Okay, he burns, but he does turn it to obsidian. That's really strange. I don't know how he's burning, but he's transforming the lava to obsidian. That's kind of weird. Let's just push this guy in the water. Oh wait, we can't. He's actually gonna die of the fire. He literally can't go in the water. He died of the fire because he turned the water to ice. That's crazy. Next, let's check out the nether brick golem quickly. And yeah, he's just the nether brick golem, and apparently he's gonna set this husk on fire. And yeah, he set him on fire. I mean, the nether brick golem's not that bad. I'm probably gonna give this guy like a 5 out of 10, but the ice golem was definitely a cool design, so I'm gonna give this guy an 8 out of 10, and if it wasn't for the eyes, he definitely would've got higher. I mean, what are these eyes? Alright, on the next page of golems, we have the furnace golem and the polished andesite golem. Why do we have all these weird golems? Who would spawn the polished andesite golem? But the furnace golem is probably pretty cool. I'm, I'm kinda disappointed that it doesn't look like he can cook items, but he provides light and consumes fuel, so we have to check that out. So let's just place some furnaces right here, and this guy looks pretty cool. He doesn't look how I expected him to look, but he looks cool. It says this guy consumes fuel, so let's give him some coal. And yeah, that's what I thought it would do. It makes him light on fire. But he can't cook stuff, unfortunately, which is the one thing the furnace golem should be able to do. So because of that, I'm gonna give him a 6 out of 10. On the next page, we have the polished deep slate golem, which is another useless golem. Why would I spawn this? And we have the redstone lamp golem, which seems interesting. It has fire protection, provides light, and you can right-click it to change the texture. We have to see that. So let's get our redstone lamp, and we'll place four of these like this. And this is the redstone lamp golem. Him. He actually looks really bad, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of expected this guy to look a lot better, but we can right-click him to change texture, so let's see that. And it doesn't really change the texture, but it's like turning him on and off. I wonder if this actually affects his lights. So let's set the time to night. And yeah, he has no light right now, but if you right-click him, he emits light. That's actually pretty cool. But there was the shroom light golem earlier, which also emits light, and he looks a lot better than this. So I'm gonna have to give this guy a 5 out of 10, because he doesn't look that great. Alright, on the next page of golems, we have the dispenser golem and the sea lantern golem. The dispenser the dispenser golem shoots arrows, and you can right-click to refill, and the sea lantern golem provides light and is an advanced swimmer. I mean, we saw what advanced swimmer did last time, it really did nothing, so hopefully it's different this time. But first, let's spawn the dispenser golem like this, and he looks similar to the furnace golem, as I would expect, and when we right-click this guy, you can put stuff inside of the dispenser. So let's just get some arrows of harming, and we'll put these arrows inside of the dispenser golem like this, and now let's spawn a husk, and let's see if he shoots him. Okay, he's shooting him really slowly, and then he just switches to melee, but if I spawn him like like way over here, he's definitely gonna shoot them. Yeah, he's shooting them with the arrows, although he doesn't shoot them really quickly, so it's not that useful. I will say this is probably the most useful golem so far in terms of goleming. I mean, he definitely would defend you, so I'm gonna give this guy an 8 out of 10. As for the sea lantern golem, let's see. So the sea lantern golem looks pretty much how you would expect it, and he's walking in the water again. He's not really swimming. Maybe we have to spawn him deep in the water to see him swim. So let's spawn another one of these guys in the water, and no, he's still walking in the water. He just doesn't swim. I'm gonna give this guy a 2 out of 10. He just doesn't do what he says he's supposed to do. Alright, on the next page, we have the frog light golem, which provides light, and the polished blackstone golem with fire protection. I swear we already saw the polished blackstone golem in the book before, but the frog light golem seems pretty cool, so let's check that out. I got two different types of frog lights right here, so let's try the green one first, and yeah, we have a green frog light golem like I expected, and we'll try the yellow one as well, and yeah, he does change color, but he doesn't look that great. I mean, come on, this could have been a little bit better, but he does have a use because he lights the area up at nighttime, so I'm gonna give him a 5 out of 10. I mean, he's not that bad. On the next page, we have the polished basalt golem and the ancient debris golem. The polished basalt golem is not worth spawning, but the ancient debris golem has fire protection and blast protection. I'm really interested in how good this blast protection is, so let's check this one out. So first, we'll get our ancient debris like this, and we'll just place it, and this guy doesn't look the best, but he also doesn't look the worst. So apparently, this guy has blast protection, so to test this out, I'm gonna spawn a TNT golem and set it off right beside him. So let's see if he can survive this. And yeah, he literally took no damage. He's invincible to TNT. That's crazy. Since that's a unique feature that we haven't seen before, I'm gonna give the Ancient Debris Golem a 7 out of 10. This guy's actually pretty good. Alright, next up on the list, we have the Quartz Golem and the Gold Golem, which don't really seem to do anything, except there's gold coins in the Gold Golem, so we're gonna check that out. I don't really know if they just added a picture for fun, or if it actually does something, but let's see. So this is the Gold Golem in-game. If you right-click this guy, he doesn't really do anything. There's no gold coins. Maybe if you kill him, he's like Sonic, and he drops coins. Nope, he's not dropping 
coins when I do damage. And he just drops a couple of gold ingots. He drops 10 gold ingots. That's actually pretty good. But that's less gold ingots than you get for making him. So that's pretty useless. Because of that, I'm going to give the gold golem a 3 out of 10. There was no gold coins. He's not that great. Next up, we have the prismarine golem and the endstone golem. The prismarine golem is an advanced swimmer. And we already know what that means. It means he walks underwater. And the endstone golem teleports randomly. The prismarine golem also has a picture of a guardian though. So I wonder if he attacks like a guardian. It also shows you can make it with multiple different blocks. So let's see if these prismarine blocks spawn a different golem. All right, so far this golem looks the same as the block. What about this? Nope, they're all the same golem. That's unfortunate. Let's see this guy attack a husk though. I wonder if he attacks like a guardian. Okay, he's not even fighting the husk. Nope, he literally just melees. I don't even know why there was a picture of a guardian. That's pretty lame. And he can't even fight the husk. I mean, this is just going on forever. I don't know what this is. All right, the prismarine golem isn't that interesting. I'm gonna give him a three out of 10 as well. And as for the endstone golem, he's just the endstone golem, except he has these really weird looking eyes. I don't know why he has purple eyes, but those are pretty cool. The endstone golem's probably about the same. I'm also gonna give him a 3 out of 10. Alright, next up we have the bone golem and the amethyst golem. And the bone golem just has a skull and crossbones here, which I don't really think means anything, as we've seen on the other pages. But the amethyst golem can drop amethyst shards when hurt. So I guess this guy's similar to Sonic and not the gold golem, but we'll see if it actually works. So this is the amethyst golem in game. This guy actually looks really cool. I especially like how his feet are kind of like that one block that's in the geode. I don't really remember what the block is called. So if we hit this guy, he's supposed to drop shards. So let's see if this works. And no shards so far. Let's try another hit and another hit. And he doesn't actually drop shards until you kill him, I think. Which is kind of lame. I kind of expected him to drop shards every time you hit him. Maybe it's a random chance. So let's just punch him instead. Yeah, wait, he actually drops shards when you hit him. Okay, that's actually cool. And I definitely think this is one of my favorite designs so far. So because of that, I'm going to give this guy an 8 out of 10. I mean, this guy looks so cool. And as for the bone golem, I mean, this guy looks pretty sick if it's Halloween. I can definitely see Mojang just adding this guy for like a Halloween update or something. But I mean, that's all there really is. He's just the bone golem. So because of that, I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10. I mean, he looks cool, but he doesn't really do anything, I don't think. On the next page, we have the waxed copper golem and the copper golem, which are pretty much the same thing, except one of them's waxed, obviously. And both of them can summon a lightning bolt. All right, so we're going to spawn a fully oxidized copper first. And he has a lightning rod on his head. That looks pretty sick. And let's just spawn a regular copper. All right, this is our copper golems. I definitely like the colors, but that's just because they're copper. That has nothing to do with the golem. I'm going to set the weather to a storm, and let's see if they can actually summon a lightning bolt. I'm right-clicking him, and it's not really doing anything, but I'm assuming right-clicking him probably has nothing to do with it. So let's just see if this guy spawns a lightning bolt. Come on, you can do it. I would assume he spawns a lightning bolt. That's literally what it said he does, but he's not really doing anything. I don't know. This guy doesn't seem to be summoning lightning. Maybe it was an attack. So let's spawn some husks right here, and let's see if they attack him with lightning. No, they're still not even doing that. So I'm assuming these guys do spawn a lightning bolt, and we're just not seeing it. So I'm gonna give them a 6 out of 10. Next up, we have the glowstone golem and the glass golem, and the glowstone golem just has fire protection and provides light, just like the shroom light golem from earlier, probably. But the glass golem seems kind of interesting, even though it does nothing, I still want to see it. So let's get some regular glass, and we'll also get some stained glass. First, let's see the regular glass, and that looks kind of weird. I mean, you can just see through the golem, that's kind of strange. And let's see if the stained glass actually stains him. And yeah, they actually get stained, so that's pretty cool. As for the usefulness of the glass golem, I'm not really sure he has any use, but he definitely looks pretty cool, especially when he's stained. So I'm gonna give the glass golem a 5 out of 10. I mean, you have to admit, it's pretty cool being able to see through the golem, I'm not gonna lie. On the next page of golems, we have the obsidian golem and the emerald golem. The obsidian golem has fire protection and blast protection, and the emerald golem follows villagers. It also has 190 health, which is a lot of health. That's probably the most health I've seen yet. So first, let's just spawn the obsidian golem just to see it. And yeah, that's the obsidian golem. I will say he looks pretty cool. I definitely like the design. So I'm gonna give him a 5 out of 10, because he doesn't really have a use, but he looks cool. And as for the emerald golem, let's see what he looks like. Alright, the emerald golem design is definitely pretty strange, but I want to see what it means when he follows the villager. So let's spawn a villager right here. And does he literally just follow him and that's it? Yeah, he just follows him around. So it's like a regular iron golem, but he's more protective. I wonder what happens if we spawn two villagers though. Who will he follow? Okay, it looks like he just likes the original villager. He's not following the other one. I will say since this guy has 190 health, he's definitely the most buff golem we've seen so far. So because of this, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I don't really like his design, but I mean, he's pretty cool. He does something different than all the other golems and he has a lot of health. All right, for the next golems, we have the crying obsidian golem and the diamond golem. The crying obsidian golem looks the same as the obsidian golem and the diamond golem has 220 health and 22 attack damage. And it also has a chest full of diamonds, but I'm pretty sure that means nothing. So let's just spawn the crying obsidian golem first. And this honestly looks pretty awful. I mean, he's just purple everywhere. This is one of the worst golems I've seen. I'm gonna give this guy like a two out of 10. He looks really bad. But now let's see how the diamond golem looks. And the diamond golem actually looks pretty cool. I kind of hate how the texture is just kind of pasted onto him though. Like, there's just random lines 
items everywhere. They don't fit the golem at all. I will say this guy has a ton of attack damage though. Like, let's see him take out all these husks. He's not even struggling to kill all these husks. He literally took like no damage. I wonder who will win, the warden or the diamond golem? The diamond golem definitely has the advantage because he's gonna attack the warden before it attacks him. But no, the diamond golem's already taking a ton of damage. It's not looking good. Yeah, the diamond golem literally got destroyed by the warden. And when the diamond golem dies, he dropped 17 diamonds. I mean, once again, it literally takes more diamonds to make him than he does drop. So I wonder what his use is. I mean, he's definitely a good bodyguard though, because he does a lot of damage, even though he died to the warden. So because of that, I'm gonna give the diamond golem a 7 out of 10. I don't really like his design. I think his texture should have had a little bit more effort put into it. All right, now for the last page of golem, we have the netherite golem. The netherite golem has 290 health and 28 attack damage. He also has fire protection and blast protection, just like the obsidian golems. So let's spawn our netherite golem like this. And this guy's texture looks a lot better. This is what the diamond golem should have been, honestly. The netherite golem is definitely stronger than the diamond golem, but I'm not really sure if this guy can take out a warden. He still might not be strong enough. Oh wait, he's taking out a random pillager. And he destroyed that pillager. Oh, and he's fighting another pillager. Alright, now let's see if the netherite golem can take out the warden. I don't really think he'll be able to, but let's see. Alright, he's doing good so far. Okay, he's already taking damage. This isn't looking good. He's surviving a lot longer though. Oh, and he's dead. He survived longer than the diamond golem, but he's still no match for the warden. And when he dies, you get five netherite scraps and eight netherite ingots. I still don't think it's worth it to spawn these guys. They drop nothing compared to what it takes to build them. But I will say the netherite golem definitely looks a lot better than the diamond golems. So because of that, I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10 just because he's really strong. This is me standing on top of an obsidian box filled with creepers that I am going to use to trap my enemies. And to make this trap even more deadly, when I press this button, all of the creepers will turn invisible to confuse my enemies even more. <gasps> oh! Wait, what the? Yo! Oh my god! There's so many creepers! I'm dead, bro! That is just one of the many traps I've set up across the map, and the reason I have all these traps is because I gave my enemies one hour to kill me, and that time is now ticking, so I better get to the next trap. I placed this horse here earlier, and I am going to make it invisible. They have no idea what's about to happen. Okay, I, th I think I saw him run over here. Oh, oh, I definitely see his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, on hill, he's on the hill right here. Look. Wait, what is he I doing just standing there? He's standing here. Wait! Oh, he got on a horse! What? what? He got on the invis horse, bro. What? Keep going, keep going. The reason I needed the horse to get away was because this trap requires a little bit of time. This is a basic parkour course, and if you fall, you will be spammed with harming arrows that will deal some serious damage. But I have to make it in time so they don't find the secret path to get to the other side. This thing is so fast. Wait, he's going down. He, he, look, 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 look. You see his name? He has to be under this. Let's take down. Let's take okay, down. I'm MLG right. down. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Good luck, guys. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I- No! Oh, I fell, I fell, I fell, I fell! Oh, no! And while they were dealing with that, it was time to go to my next trap. This trap is in the nether because it uses piglins. I have filled a hole with a bunch of piglins, and I am going to use invisibility to become a piglin. When I jump into the hole, I will wear only golden boots, causing the piglins not to attack me, but attack my enemies instead, allowing me to blend in with the piglins while they attack them. I see him, he's right there. Oh, I see him, I see him. He just went through. He, it looks like he didn't have armor on. I, I'm just gonna jump through the lava because he lives. Wait, there's piglins. Wait, what? Oh my oh, god, man. there's so many. Wait, what? There's so many. Wait, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I, there's so I, many. How do you, what do I do? I'm trying to kill them. I'm trying to kill them. I'm trying to kill them. Trying to kill them. You can't get out otherwise. Wait, Wait he's I leaving. See him. Look, he Wait, just throw out. He just ran Wait, away. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. How do we? Come, come on, come jump on. out. Okay, okay. I, I, I got out. I got out. I got out. I got out. Oh my god. Now I am going to take a minecart track that I am going to blow up to hopefully gain some distance on my enemies. Wait, guys. Guys, stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna blow this up. I'm gonna blow this up if you go any further. Okay, 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 okay. We, we, we. There's CNT. Okay, he's being for real. Don't, don't go, don't go. Don't go, don't go any further, okay? Okay, okay, we won't, we won't. I'm blowing it up anyway. What? Uh, jump off, jump off, don't die, don't die, don't die. Run, 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 run. And because of this distraction, I was able to make it to the next destination, a desert temple, the most obvious trap in Minecraft. The only difference is I removed the TNT and added something else instead, withers. Basically, I am going to bait them to come down to the bottom of the temple, and then I am going to spawn these withers and ender pearl back up. Any wrong move and this could be the end right here. Hey, yeah, look, 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 I see, I see another portal. Wait, the portal blew up. Okay, yeah, let's go through, let's go through, light it, yeah, light, light it, light it. Light it. Careful. There's a desert temple. Oh, oh, he's, he's gotta be in here. Yeah, he's right, he's right, yeah, he's he's right in front of you. Okay, you just went down. Be careful, be careful. There's definitely some kind of trap here. I'm gonna go down. Okay. Look out, though. Wait. Do you see anything? Oh, wait, what is okay, that? Okay. Wait. Wait, he just rolled out. Oh, oh, no. I'm so no. Oh, my God. 
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I landed the Ender Pearls successfully, leaving them with some withers and a message that it was time to go to my next location. My next location is in the end, where I have made a two-part puzzle. The first part is a giant maze with multiple traps laid out inside of it, and the second part is a parkour course with a deadly trap attached to it. Okay, there's the portal, get ready. Oh, let's go, let's go. I'm going in. Okay, I'm, I'm in the middle. Okay, don't, oh. don't walk forward, don't walk forward, this is a trap. This is a trap, oh. I'm telling you. Oh, I see, I see it, look, 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 this one has a carpet on it. It's probably, it's probably powdered snow. Look, look, just, just build over it, just build over it. This was bad. That trap was meant to slow them down enough so I had a head start in the maze, but now my enemies were right behind me chasing me through the maze. He's like right here. Oh, there's a pressure wait, plate. Wait, oh, I'm not touching no. What's happened though? Wait, 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 I hear him just mining. Is he just breaking it? He just broke out the maze. Over here, over here, look. He just keeps mining through the walls, bro. Oh, I'm catching up to him. I'm so close. Wait. I'm in a wall, wait, what Oh my god. Now that they were stuck, I was able to finish the maze and position myself for the second part of this trap. I'm going up the ladder. Oh, there's like lava up here. Wait, 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 don't, don't wait. go across. I'm gonna break this whole thing. Wait, lava wait. Falling. No, no, just, just, just go. go. We just definitely go. win. We definitely go, go quick enough. <gasps> oh, uh, oh, I'm burning. Wait. Oh, I made oh, it, I made I told, it, I made it. I'm so close. Wait. Okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, look at these cords. Before we go through, let's write them down. Write them down quick, quick, quick. The coordinates I left led to my final trap. I call this trap the Woodland Mansion, and inside of this mansion is hundreds of armor stands that all look the same, and I am going to be hiding amongst them until the time runs out. You guys only have five minutes left, by the way. We're right behind you, though. We're gonna kill you. No, I, I don't, I don't think you are. No, no, no we're pretty close. You, I know you're in this mansion. Oh my god, my FPS is dying. He has to have like a trap set up in here. Oh my god, my friend. Oh my too. god. He has to be in here. Okay, you, you guys have until the time runs out to find me. Good luck. What they didn't know is that this mansion is rigged to explode at the press of this button, meaning that my enemies have five minutes to find me or else I am not only winning, but I am getting all of their stuff too. Dude, what? there's no way we're gonna find you. It's like impossible. You gotta give us a hint or something. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a hint. I am near an armor stand right now. That helps. Thanks, bro. Real helpful. As time was running out, it was looking like I was going to end up blowing this place up, and then this happened. Wait, I see particles, I see particles. Wait, he's gotta be like right wait, here. Wait, this is bad, this is bad. Wait, where do you- oh, he's right there. He's running, he's running, look, 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 look. I, I see him. He's jumping. Please. Oh, he acroed the thing. I, I'm ch- Oh, it's so hard to see him. Wait, I don't see him. Oh my god, oh, he's, he's running the other way. Look, 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 look at the, the, the villagers chasing him. Wait, there's there's no way, there's no way. Wait, he went in his room, he went in his oh, look, room. Look, he's in here, he's in here, he's in here. Wait, where does this go to? Wait, where'd he go? Wait. Dude, there's actually no way that worked. Wait, where'd you go? Did you just... I literally saw you run in there, and then you just... As you can see, I was easily able to escape my enemies with invis, but it wasn't long until they found me again. Dude, I'm so close to him. I'm so close Wait, to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually Wait, have no oh idea where he went. I don't know where he went. I swear I saw him walk in the room, though. Wait, there's actually no way that... He's got to be in this room. There's no way. He's got to be in here. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh I'm getting on I'm getting on him. Guys, please, 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 please. I just, just let me, let me I got him, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead here. Wait, I missed. No. I got him, I got him, I got him. Nice. I got him. Let's go. This is me standing on top of a desert temple full of TNT, and I am going to use TNT minecarts, which are a banned item on the server, to blow it up and hopefully kill my enemies. Um, Wait, there's a hole in the middle. Open. Yeah. yeah, there's a hole in the middle. Wait, you, wait, you ready? Ready? Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm you go down. first. Yeah. Wait. What does the sign say? So, wait. Look up. What's above us? Wait, he's right there. Wait, oh my wait, god. Wait, wait, what is that? Oh my god, wait, what? No way. That's just one of the many structures I have trapped around the map because I gave my enemies one hour to kill me, and that time starts now. Luckily, my next trap is right beside the desert temple, and I am going to hide in one of these village houses, and my enemies will have one minute to find me, or the whole thing will blow up. Oh, there's a village here. Uh, yeah, well, he, wait, wait, they're all the same house? Houses? Wait, why are they all the yeah, same? Wait, he's there's gotta no be. Yeah, you guys have uh, a minute to find me, or it's gonna the whole thing's gonna blow up. Wait, what? Wait, wait you, hit the, you hit the left side, you hit the right side. Okay, okay. I don't know if he's gonna be on this oh. side. There's one with a trap? Wait, yeah, there's an armor stand right here. Come here, come here. You go, go first, you go first. Wait, wait. Bro, this- Bro! No way! No, no way. way! Wait, break out, break out. I got wait. wait! You feel it? Wait. I you there's no way we get hit by this again. Okay, I'm up. Okay, it wasn't that many. 
My next trap is in an ocean monument, and I am going to lure my enemies into an obsidian box where they will get mining fatigue from an elder guardian and not be able to escape. But first I have to navigate through the monument to make it to my trap. I see him, I see him, he's right here. Wait, how did you guys catch up already? I don't get him, get him, get him, get him. Wait. Is he going to the treasure temple? Wait, Wait he's, 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 he's going down. He's going down. Yeah, yeah, he's going down. He's gonna get hit with mining fatigue. I'm going in, I'm going in. I'll follow, I'll follow. Where's he going? Wait, oh, I just got dinged. Can... He's going in his room over here. I'm gonna start drowning though. Dude, we can't even mine or Wait. even get drowned. I'm gonna need a gap. Where's he going? We're literally drowning. <laughs> wait, the shrine's in the chest. Grab one, grab one. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, we gotta go down here together. Ready? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you ready, ready, ready? Alright, right, let's go, let's go. Two, one, go. Wait, there's no way. Oh, wait. Who is this guy? Wait, why is there a guard? Wait, where is he going? Wait, I can't break out. I'm mining with you. And now that they were stuck in an obsidian box, I was able to make it to my next structure, a mine shaft. This structure has three traps that get more and more deadly as you go. His name's right there. Oh, yeah. Over here, over here, over here. here? Yeah. Wait, yeah, here's a mine shaft. Mine shaft. He's right. Yeah, he's right in front of me. Wait, he shifted. He shifted. Where did you go? Left or right? I think you just keep going this way. Keep going this way. Had to. Had to. Has to be here. Where is he? Oh, wait, wait. No way. No wait, way. We can no way. Again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm almost dead. Build up. Build up. Build up. Build up. I can't even build the freaking. You water. Water right here. Wait, 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 he's right in front of us again. Wait. wait what, is, what is he doing? Wait. What's up? Wait. There's no my way. We had an entire my... railway. He's. Uh, Oh my! Oh my okay. God! I, I'm stuck. No, I, I got stuck. I'm coming now. I'm coming now. Dude, wait! Oh, there's another portal here. Wait, yeah, yeah, go, go. Wait, no, wait, no, he's not. Wait! Oh my God! Oh my God! Wait, wait! Oh, there's so many caves here. Wait, what? Wait, where are they? I'm stuck in the sun. Wait, how do you get out? Now, I was able to go through the nether portal to get to my next structure, but before I make it there, I have set up a few traps along the way. Yeah, the portal was trapped. Wait, he's right here. Wait, right I can't see anything. <laughs> Alright, I broke there. I broke there. Where? So, okay. It's just a huge tunnel. Hey, yeah, yeah, he's right down here, right there. Why is it snowing? Is that some parkour course? Wait. Oh, no, he's breaking yeah, it. Yeah, wait. Let's yeah, break some locks. I'll be right behind it. Oh my god. Uh, I expected that to work better, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, okay I'm alive. Like, Break through. Oh my God. Now that I slowed them down a bit, it's time to go to my next trap. This one isn't really a trap, but more of a distraction. Basically, I am going to make my enemies replicate this build, and while they are doing that, I am going to try to escape without them noticing. He went to the left, he went to the left. Are you behind me? Yeah, I'm right, I'm right with you. Wait, he's going now? Wait, fuck it up. Wait, no, just build up, build up, build up. Hey, guys, 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 stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see this build right here? Yeah. I put everything you need in the chest to recreate it, and you guys have to recreate the build. Or I'm gonna press this button and blow us all up. Give one okay, minute. Wait. Oh my God. Here, I'll get this last wait. Last wait. 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 What? Good. Good luck. Wait. What? Wait. 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 wait you have one minute. Go. Wait. How did you do this? And while they are doing that, I am so close to 100k subscribers, which means this could be your last chance to subscribe before I hit 100k. Hey, 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 no, no looking. Wait, I forgot it already. I don't know what he did. Wait, just build the portal. Yeah, I'll build the portal. Oh, wait, there's a little hole. Wait, hold on, I can get That's Why is there a stack of sand? So what is this? Oh, I might have left that in there. That's my bad. My bad. I... Oh. Wait, did he just leave? Wait, where did he... he try to leave? Wait, he's leaving. Wait, do you Honestly, hear I knew you guys couldn't do it, so... Wait, did you... I, I was wait. just doing that to distract you. Wait, did he leave? Wait, so, 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 so. And now that I had a little bit of distance, I had to travel far away to my next trap. My next trap is in an igloo where I have replaced the floor with powdered snow so my enemies will fall straight into a pit full of polar bears. But I still have to make it to the igloo without them catching me first. Oh, he's right, 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 right. He's on the boat. He's on the boat. You got a boat? You got a boat still? Um, you went I this way. You went this way. Get him out. Get him out. You went this way. You went this way. Keep going straight, keep going straight. Oh, you're left, you're left. I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down. Okay, okay. 
Wait, there's another portal right here. Wait, he's right past it. Yeah, it's from too long. Wait, if he just went as Eclu, you were right, wait for me. I'm gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait for you. Okay. He went as Eclu, though. I'm ready. Go on, same time. Ready, ready? Alright, let's go. Wait, he's right. Wait, no, wait. Oh my, oh, my oh, my oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now that they were stuck, I was able to go back into the nether to the next structure, a bastion. At the end of this path, I have set up a piston trap where my enemies will fall into a huge pit filled with piglins, but I have to make sure they don't see me hiding in order for this to work. He's definitely going to do another portal. There's no other way. Another way. Wait, wait, it's blocked off again. Wait, he's right on us. Wait, he's right on us. Wait, God, off, wrong wait. Way. wait, I'm going to wait for him. Alright, I'm right here. Right. Wait, Wait, what is it? It's filled with lava. Yeah. Do you have any blocks? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. He's still trying to... He's trying to do it. Wait. He's still trying to do it. Wait. There's another portal. Wait. Wait, oh my god. Wait, no way! Oh my god. There's so many piglins. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Are you gonna die? Even though they saw me, the trap somehow worked, and I was able to go back to the overworld where I made it to the stronghold. And in the stronghold, I entered the end portal to go to the end where I have placed the final trap. Fish, wait, you went in there, go in there, go in there. Go, 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 go. Wait, watch out, watch out, you're gonna do something. Where are you going? Wait, do you see him? I don't. Where did he go? Oh, I see him. Now I am at the final structure, an end city. Basically my enemies will have the remaining time to complete a parkour course and kill me at the end. But if they fail, I will win the challenge and they have to let me kill them. Alright, wait, wait. Yeah, you would do this parkour. Wait, you start okay. this one, I guess. I guess yeah, yeah, I can't even make the first jump. Okay, this... I know you made it this hard. What do you mean? This is so easy. Just come on. Yeah. Oh, here, I'm gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait for you. I'm I would hurry up, by the way. You guys only have like a minute and a half left. Oh, what? Oh, wait, what? I'm not waiting then. Wait. Wait, wait you just go. You just go. I'll, I'll catch wait, you eventually. I'm, so okay, no, I I'm yeah, still yeah, on the first jump. Yeah. There's no way you're still on the first jump. So easy. Is it? I don't know. I'm I don't know. Me. Yeah. You only have one minute left. How long what? is this? I'm not even gonna do this in time. <laughs> I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but like, I don't- this thing is so long. Wait, I'm at the end? Yeah. Wait, how did you already make it up here? Wait, how are you oh already- Oh my god! Oh yeah, oh. I'm gonna with- I fell down, I'm- 30 I seconds! Down. There's no way! What? I'm so stuck. There's, there's you gotta no way. Oh no, no, no! I'm all the way down. It's Guys, the time is up. I won. You have to give me all your stuff. Even though the time had ran out, for some reason my enemies continued trying to kill me. Yeah, I, I, I think the time already ran out. I don't know, you don't know, you don't know. How did you lost? Honestly. I don't think so. Hey, watch. Look, I see, I can do this. Wait, wait, wait. You wanna fight? Oh, oh, you fought, but that's not... That's not good. It doesn't matter, I don't know. No, no, no. I'm, I'm winning this. I got this. This. Oh my god, no way. I'm going to be Google translating Minecraft mobs 1000 times and then making whatever result I get. The first mob is a strider. Translate. And we got sponge. For this one, I'm going to make Spongebob. First I'll remove the hair. Now let's make his legs shorter. And we'll make his body sponge shaped. Now let's color his body yellow. Now we'll add his pants. And let's draw his white shirt. Now let's give him a red tie. Now let's give him some arms. Now let's give him some eyes. That looks good. Now we'll draw his smile. Now we'll give him two big teeth. And now we'll give him a big yellow nose. And we'll just add some black shoes. And now we'll just fill in his socks and I'll give him his sponge holes. Okay, that looks pretty good Let's see him in game. Hold on. I don't think that's right. Okay, that looks a lot better He even has a baby spongebob on top. Look at all these spongebobs chilling in the lava kind of weird if you think of it Let's ride a spongebob. Oh my god. This looks so weird. The other ones are following me too Let's spawn a bunch of spongebobs. Wait, this one has a pig man on it. What? All the spongebobs are following me now I have an army. Look at how weird it looks when he walks in the lava. All right I give spongebob a 9 out of 10. He looks pretty 
pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Ravager. Translating. And we got buff green. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make the Hulk. Let's remove his ears and nose. And now we'll color him fully green. Now let's draw his hair. And we'll give him a smile. Now let's draw his eyes. And we'll give him some green pupils. Now let's give him some angry eyebrows. And that looks good. Now we have to add his shorts. This is actually taking a long time. Now let's make his legs a bit smaller. And we'll make the bottom of his shorts look ripped. Okay, that looks good. Let's see it in game. Alright, why do I keep messing this up? There we go. Honestly, this looks better than the actual Hulk. Let's find a village and start a raid. And the raid is starting. Let's find the Incredible Hulk. I didn't know the Hulk was a villain. I don't think he even knows how to get up the mountain, so I think the village is safe. Hulk versus Iron Golem. Who wins? What is going on with his head? Wait, Iron Golem actually won. What? Here you go, buddy. You deserve it. Just kidding. I'm spawning more Hulks. Wait, this guy is going for the villager. Chill. Dang, the Iron Golem actually almost won that. I give Hulk an 8 out of 10. I think he turned out good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a parrot. Translate. And we got Fruit Bird. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make Toucan Sam. Let's color him fully blue, and we'll extend his beak out a lot. Now, let's color his beak in yellow. I'm actually going to change the color. I think he's too bright. Now, let's add all the colors to his beak, and we'll draw him some eyes. Now, we'll color the front of his belly white, and I'll make his three tail feathers, and we'll color this one purple, this one red, and this one yellow. Now, let's finally make his feet orange, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. He actually turned out good. Hey, Toucan Sam, what is so good about Fruit Loops? Alright, how do we tame one of these guys? I think I have to give him a cookie. Oh, that is not good. I apologize to the original Toucan Sam. He's doing the Fruit Loops dance. Uh, Toucan Sam, where did you go? Alright, let's spawn an army of Toucan Sams. Okay, this is not a noise I wanted to hear. I'm sorry, it has to be done. Wait, I accidentally killed the one I tamed. Oh well, I'll just get a new one. Alright, I give Toucan Sam a 10 out of 10. I think he's really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Wither Skeleton. What will we get? And we got Puppet. For this one, I'm going to make Kermit the Frog. We'll start by coloring him green. Next, I'll change the shape of his head a bit. Now, I'll make it look like his mouth is open. Okay, we probably need to lower this a bit. Now, let's give him his eyes, and we'll draw the pupils. Next, I'll color in his mouth, and let's make the outside a darker red. Now, we'll put a ring around his neck, and we'll extend the little things out a bit. Okay, that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this guy actually looks pretty good. I don't know what happened to his eye, though, but other than that, he looks pretty solid. I wonder what it looks like getting chased by one of these. Oh god, there's nowhere to run. I'm actually gonna die. Let's go to the nether fortress, and here is some kermits in their natural habitat. Now let's spawn a bunch more Kermits, and now we'll see what it's like being chased by these guys. Wait, why is the gas getting involved? Oh god, this is a dead end. Why is this so scary? Kermit is not supposed to be scary. Oh god, we're in a blaze spawner. Wait, Kermit, stop. Oh no, I'm being hit. Why did I choose to go this way? Alright, I give Kermit a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. Translate, and we just got yellow. For this one, I'm going to make Homer Simpson. First, I'll remove the hat and nose. Next, I'll change the shape of his head. Now, we'll make the head yellow, and we'll color in his mouth. Next, I'll give him his nose, and we'll give him some eyes. Now, I'll make his mouth curve a little bit, and we'll move his shirt up a bit. Next, I'll color his pants in blue, and I'll give him his white shirt, and we'll color his arms in yellow. Now, I'll fix the collar of his shirt, and I'll give him some black shoes. Okay, that turned out good. Let's see him in game. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, I lied. He looks very strange. I also put both of his shoes on the same foot by accident. I don't have any donuts, but will he eat cake? Nope, I don't think it's working. Let's spawn a Homer army. That's pretty much all we can do. Homer is kind of boring. Homer army versus iron golem what will happen oh god he's destroying them come on homer fight back no don't look at me you're not fighting me this is so sad rip homers finally one of them poisoned him all right let's bring the hulk in for help not even the hulk can stop him i give homer a 6 out of 10 his fighting skills were not up to par it's time for the next mob the next mob is a cat what will we get and we got rocket for this one i'm going to make meowth because he is team rocket's cat first we'll color him in dark white and we'll make the bottom of his feet brown and we'll do the same for the end of his tail Next, we'll make his ears a different shape. I think those look pretty good. Next, we'll add the hairs that stick out from his face, and we'll put the thing on the top middle of his head as well, and we'll give him a couple of eyes and a pink mouth. Okay, I think we need to change a few things. That looks better. Let's just add some teeth, and we'll make his pupils a bit thinner. Okay, that looks good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty decent, and we'll spawn a baby. That looks more like Meowth. Let's tame a Meowth. Meowth dance? As you know, we have to do the Pokeball test. It's still not working. All right, Meowth versus a creeper. Who wins? Dang, the creeper is not even gonna try. Time to spawn a Meowth army, and let's tame them all. Why is this one so hard to get? That somehow gave us an advancement. Now we have a teleporting cat army. Fight the creeper, guys. 
Alright, I give Meowth a 7 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a horse. Translating. And we got speed. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make knuckles. Let's color him fully red. Now let's make his neck a bit smaller. Let's get rid of these ears. And we'll color his face in. Now I'll give him a little black nose. And I'll draw his blue eyes. Now I will put his smile on the front of his mouth. And I'll give him a little bit of hair. Okay, this kind of looks like a poodle. Now I'll draw his white collar. And I'll give him his white knuckles. Next, I'll give him a couple shoes. And we'll color this part green. Now find Finally, we just need to color in his tail. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. All right, I figured something weird like this would happen. Floating knuckles, I guess? At least the babies have legs. They look so weird because of the different horse types. All right, it's time to tame a flying knuckles. And now we have our own knuckles. Yo, this guy is kind of fast too. Wait, can I make them all chase me with the golden apples? Nah, none of them can keep up. I wonder how he looks with horse armor. That somehow made him even worse. At least he kind of has legs now. All right, I give knuckles a one out of 10. So many things went wrong here. It's time for the next mob. The next Next mob is a Vex. What will we get? And we got Green Dinosaur. For this one, I think I'm going to make Yoshi. Let's separate his legs a little bit, and we'll color him fully green. Now we'll extend his nose piece out, and we'll give him a couple nostrils. Now let's draw in some eyes, and we'll make the side of his face white. Now let's add his mouth underneath, and we'll make the front of his body white. Now let's give him some orange shoes, and we'll just give him his dinosaur tail, and we'll just color the bottom of it white. Now we can just add his red shell, and we'll add the white outlines on the side. Now finally, we can add the red spikes on his back. Okay, that doesn't really look like Yoshi. Let's see it in game. Yo, that actually looks kind of cool. I have no idea where his other leg went though. Why does everyone's legs keep disappearing? One-legged Yoshi is better than no-legged Yoshi. Actually, it really isn't because he can fly. Let's spawn a bunch of Yoshis. I really thought this would be scary, but it looks kind of cool. Look how many of them are trying to get me. Yoshis versus Iron Golem. The Golem isn't so scary now. Never mind, he was able to reach one of them. Are the Yoshis even gonna fight back? What's up with all these mobs? Alright, I give Yoshi a 6 out of 10 because because his leg is broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. Translate, and we got scary bird. I think for this one, I'm going to do Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. First, we'll make her fully yellow. Next, we'll give the legs the animatronic look, and we'll copy that to the arms as well. And we'll also add it to the body. Now let's add some fingers. And we'll also add a thumb. Now we can color her feet in orange, and we'll extend them out a little bit like this. Now we'll add the beak. Let's color it orange, and we'll give her some teeth. This is already looking scary. Now we'll add her tufts of hair, and now let's do the eyes. That looks really weird. And now we can finally add the bib with the let's eat text. I know there's exclamation marks, but I couldn't fit them. Okay, this looks really scary. Let's see it in the game. Okay, what happened to the arm? All right, now our problems are fixed. This definitely looks scary. Looks kind of like a cursed big bird. I apologize to this villager. I don't know why he's naked. Let's look at baby Chica now. Oh no, that's terrifying. Let's spawn an army of them. Oh god, I don't like this. Yeah, not so tough anymore. Oh no. I give Chica a 7 out of 10. Something about her face just looks weird. Time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. What will we get? And we got Faceless Suit. So last time you guys wanted me to make Slenderman, so this time I am going to make him. Let's color his head white first. Now I will make the rest of his body dark black. And now we can give him his tie. That looks good. Next we'll add some hands. Let's copy that on the other side. And now I will give him some fingers. And a thumb. And we'll color his hands in white. And now we can give him some shoes. Let's bring that over here, and we'll color his shoes a dark gray. Now I can add the tentacle things on his back. Let's put one here, and here, and here. That doesn't look too bad, let's see it in game. Alright, I had to get rid of the things on his back because they wouldn't work, but I think he looks pretty good. I definitely think Huggy Wuggy was way scarier though. Yep, he still extends his head at me. Let's go to the end. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. You don't want a no clip in here at night. Or any time at all. I don't remember this from the Slenderman game. Just do it, guys. I had to bring them to Slenderman's forest. I give Slenderman an 8 out of 10. I wish the things on his back worked. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. Let's translate. And we got Red Plumber. This is going to be weird, but I am going to try to turn the pig into Mario. We'll start by making him fully red. Now we'll make his legs blue. And we'll add his overalls. I'll put the yellow buttons here. Now we can color in his face. I think we can leave his nose, honestly. And add some eyes. Okay, that looks weird. I'm going to make the nose smaller. And now we has new eyes which look way better and we'll give him a mustache and some hair on the sides and the top of course now we'll make his hat this looks really cursed at the moment it looks much better in red and now i'll draw the circle where we will put the m but first let's give him ears and we'll make his front legs red and add some gloves and we'll color in the boots on his back legs now we can finally draw the m on his hat honestly i kind of like it let's see it in game this is definitely cursed but he doesn't look too bad as a pig let's see him as a baby okay his head is way too big oh no there's a bunch of goombas in the way no you're supposed supposed to stomp on it. I think my Marios are defective. Certainly you can't mess this one up. Bruh. There we go. There's nothing down there.
there, but I mean, oh god. I give Pig Mario an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. On to the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translate, and we got Blue Vehicle. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the Fortnite Battle Bus. This is going to be interesting. First, we have to get rid of all of this. Perfect, we're done. Now I'll extend this out a bit, and we'll color it blue. Now we can add a front, and we'll give it some tires. Let's color these in black, and we'll add yellow rims. Now let's start making the windows. I wish I knew there was a shape tool sooner. I was drawing these manually. Now we'll add some black stripes. That looks pretty sick. And now we'll put the lights on the front, and we'll draw the grill. Now we have to add the balloon to the top. I think that looks pretty good. The last thing we have to do is make sure it's connected to something, and we'll color these in. That looks good. Let's see it in game. All right, we have to go to the end for this one. Oh my god. Why does this actually look really good? Oh, he's perching? I like how it just flips upside down. Okay, now we're idling. Oh, now he's back to work. Where are we dropping? Don't forget to thank the bus driver. He's been working hard. I give the battle bus a 10 out of 10. This is honestly the best mob I've ever made. Okay, Slenderman doesn't agree with me. Time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translate. And we got chimpanzee. All right, I know exactly what I'm going to make. I'm going to make Donkey Kong. Let's start by coloring him brown, and then we'll color in his chest. That looks good. Now we'll add hands. Copy that over here, and we'll make his arms slightly shorter. Now we'll give him fingers and a thumb. Now we can color his hands and fingers in. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now we'll make his feet and we'll color these in as well. Now we can start to shape his face and give him some eyes underneath that. Next we can add a mouth. That looks really good. Now we just give him some nostrils and add his ears and we'll give him his wavy hair on the top. And finally we need to add a tie. We'll color that fully red and now we just need to write DK on his tie. That looks really good. Let's see it in the game. Yo, this is kind of sick. Oh, his tie is gone. Let's see him fight some zombies. Oh no. Here we go. Good as new. Let's find a jungle. Now they're in their natural habitat. I wish I could spawn a baby one like Diddy Kong. Oh, they're dying. They can't get in. Rip skeleton. All right, I give Donkey Kong a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a panda. What do we get? And we got lazy. This is perfect. We can turn the panda into Snorlax. Let's color him in greenish blue first. Now we'll change the shape of his ears. Let's make his face whitish. And we'll do the same for his belly. Now we can add his sleeping eyes, and we'll give him a smile. With a couple of teeth, now we can color his legs the same color as his face. And we'll add little brown circles to them as well. And now finally we can give him some claws, and we'll color them white. I think that looks decent, let's see it in the game. Yo, that actually looks pretty cool. And baby Snorlax? Yo, he's doing a roll. Ignore the missing texture on his head. Let's give them some bamboo. Apparently the small ones don't eat it. I don't know what you're talking about, the head is fine. I'm pretty sure Snorlax is supposed to be sleeping. We have to do a Pokeball test. Nope. Alright, I give Snorlax an 8 out of 10. It would be a 10 if he could sleep. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got money challenge. I think for this one, I am going to make Ryan Trayan. First, we'll color in his skin. We probably want to get rid of this. Now, I will give him a neck. And now, we can give him his white shirt. And we'll add his shorts as well. Let's color these in. And we'll make his arms a bit shorter. Actually, never mind. Let's give him some fingers. And some thumbs. And now, we'll make his eyes. I'm not sure if they are blue or green, so I am going to make them green. Now, we'll give him some eyebrows and some hair. Now, let's give him a mouth and a nose. I don't like this mouth. Now, we need to make his hair look a bit better. Okay, that looks good. And now, we'll make him holding a penny. That's a big penny. And let's give him a mouth again. Okay, let's see this in-game. Whoa, Ryan, put the gun down. Okay, why do I keep messing the textures up? There we go. Whoa, Ryan, don't shoot the penny at me. Okay, this really doesn't look like Ryan. I don't know if his eyes are green. I think it's time for the great reset. I don't think that's how it works. Oh, no. He's going on a rampage. This man is wiping out the entire outpost. I'm gonna give Ryan a 7 out of 10. It doesn't really look like him. Time for the next mob. The next mob is an LA. Generating text. Okay, it says rich man and some other stuff that we'll just ignore. For this one, I'm going to make Mr. Krabs. First, we'll delete these. Now, we'll make his body bigger and we'll give him his pants. Now, let's add his legs and we'll color his arms red. Now, we can shrink his head and color it in and we'll give him some eyes and we'll make them kind of green. Now, we'll make his face a little bit round and we'll draw his smile and now we can add his shirt collar and his sleeves. And finally, we'll draw his belt. I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Oh my god. I don't know what happened to his arms but other than that he looks good okay his head is also messed up too this must be what the tooth fairy looks like all right mr krabs bring me some money i never thought i'd see mr krabs giving away money oh my god mr krabs what are you in for don't worry i'll break you guys out and these guys too everybody's locked up not you though sorry buddy i'm off to find the crusty crab i mean this is probably good enough and squidward's here already this is perfect all right mr krabs let's get this money i like how he just glows underwater all right i give mr krabs a 7 out of 10 mainly because 
because his model is very broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a spider. What will we get? Okay, I don't really know what a spider demon is, but Mommy Longlegs is a scary spider, so I think that's close enough. Let's delete these legs, and we'll shrink some of the body parts. Now we'll color this in pink, and we'll rotate the legs. Now we'll add another part to the legs, and we'll color her legs in pink. Now let's add the blue before her feet, and we'll add her feet. Now let's start making her hair, and we'll make it curl down like this. That should be good enough. Now we can add the blue hair tie, and we'll start drawing her eyes, and we'll give her some eyelashes. Now we can draw her big mouth, and we will put her lips on top. And now I'll just draw a little spiral in her hair. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Alright, that somehow worked better than I expected. I mean, the spider's eyes are still there, but other than that... Alright, that looks much better. I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out in game. I thought for sure something was gonna break. Mommy Longlegs versus a wolf. Okay, that was pretty stupid, but I had nothing else to put her against. Mommy Longlegs army. Oh my god, why are they dying? What is this one doing? Yo, this one's doing it too. What is this emote called? Alright, I'm gonna give Mommy Longlegs a 9 out of 10. I think she turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a giant. Generating. Okay, we got a mouse who nearly had 100 year old feuds or something. I don't know. We'll ignore the second part and make Mickey Mouse. Let's color him fully black and we'll give him his shorts. Now we'll add his yellow shoes and I'll make his face round. Now we can give him his ears. That looks good enough. Now I'll add the skin on his face and let's give him some big eyes and we'll just give him black pupils. Now I'll add his nose and finally we will put the white buttons on his shorts. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's see him in game. Let's get a giant spawn egg. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Well, almost. Mickey, I don't think we need to see that. But from the front, he looks pretty good. Giants don't really do anything, so uh, why does he make a player damage noise? Mickey Mouse versus Donald Duck size comparison. I don't think this is very accurate. Let's see if the wolf will attack him. I mean, he's trying to. Doesn't seem to be working, though. It's the Mickey Mouse clubhouse. I think he's too big for the house. I'm going to give Mickey a 7 out of 10. He's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Generating text. Okay, a clumsy guy when I made a team with a race. Something about dark matter clouds. What? For this one, I'm going to make a Fall Guys character. Alright, let's delete these legs, and we'll move the front ones to the middle. Now we'll shrink his body and his head. Let's color him all pink, and we'll make his legs smaller. Now we can give him little feet, and we'll just add his arms, and we'll just turn the arms a little bit sideways. Now we can give him some fingers, and we'll also give him a big thumb. Now I can make his head a little bit round, and we can start drawing his face, and I'll just give him little eyes, and we'll make him round on the bottom too. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's see it in game. That looks pretty good. I don't know what happened there though. Or there. I guess he's still a creeper on the inside. Can he do parkour? Come on, you're not gonna qualify or something. I don't know. I've never played Fall Guys. Alright, he lost. We'll give him something he can actually do. Come on, you just gotta make it to the other side. What if I put some sort of bait over there? What do creepers like? I don't know why I decided on a sheep, but we've added a sheep. Never mind. I have an idea. Yes, you can do it. Wait, no. Oh god. He's so close to making it to the end. Oh no. At least he didn't die. Alright, I give Fall Guys an 8 out of 10, but there are definitely some mistakes with this model that need to be fixed. Time for the next mob. The next mob is the warden. What will we get? Okay, we got big powerful man. For this one, I'm going to turn the warden into Thanos. Alright, we'll make his head smaller, and let's remove his horns slash ears. I don't know what these are. Well, now let's give him a torso, and we'll color his body in purple. Now let's add his yellow belt, and we'll color his pants brown, and we can add his yellow collar to the shirt, and I'll paint the rest of him light purple. Now we can add the infinity gauntlet, and all of the infinity stones, and we'll give him some biceps. Now we can draw his chin, and I'll give him some eyebrows, and some eyes, and finally I'll add his nose. Okay, that doesn't look great, hopefully it looks better in game. Alright, I've traveled to the deep dark to spawn a Thanos naturally. That doesn't look like Thanos. Okay, that's much better. Not sure why he still has ears though, I thought we deleted them. Okay, it's finally fixed. I went through way too much effort for this dollar store Thanos. At least we can now see him come out of the ground. Yo, no way, Thanos is here. Okay, that wasn't that cool. Let's see if I can beat Thanos. At least I survived one snap. Alright, I give Thanos a 6 out of 10. He just looks kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a bunny. Generating... Okay, a horrifying bunny and something about VHS tapes. For this one, I am going to make Bonnie because he is scary. Alright, let's color his body fully purple. And we'll make his ears flop down. Now I will start shaping his mouth. And now let's give him a few teeth. Okay, two teeth is all he gets. Now we'll give him his black nose. And we'll start drawing some eyes. We'll make them red on the inside. Okay, that looks scary. Now we can color the back of his mouth black. And we'll make the top part of his mouth lighter purple as well as his ears. Now we'll do the same for his belly. And finally we will give him a red bow tie. And we will make his arms look like they are made out of metal. Okay, that turned out pretty good. Let's see it in game. I always forget how small the rabbits are. Look how scary those eyes are. Oh my god. Baby Bonnie. Oh my god, it's so small. It's hard to be afraid of something so tiny. Bonnie army. I have to do this. I'm sorry guys. I think we broke the fox. Seriously though, what is the fox doing? Let me fix that. 
Yo, all these guys are emoting over here too. All right, I give Bonnie a 10 out of 10. I think he turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog, generating text, and we got duck. If you aren't familiar with frogs, please read the label before you start. Okay. I'm going to make Psyduck for this one. All right, let's delete all this, and we'll just get rid of his eyes as well. Now let's try to shape this into a duck, and we'll color it all in yellow. Now let's give him duck feet, and we'll color them a lightish yellow. Now we can give him a beak, and we'll color this the same color as his feet. Now we can add some little arms on each side, and we'll make his lizard-like tail. Now we can add the black tufts of hair to the top of his head, and we'll give him some eyes. All right, that doesn't look terrible. Let's see it in game. Oh my god, that actually looks good other than the walking animation. Okay, that might not be normal. To be fair, the walking animation would kind of fit him if it wasn't broken. Let's see a baby frog. Oh yeah, that's a tadpole. Let's see Psyduck eat a slime. Okay, the slime probably has to be smaller. Oh my god, that is so cursed. Isn't this an achievement or something? Oh, I give Psyduck a 6 out of 10. He's just too cursed. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an axolotl. What will we get? I turned an axolotl into a fish which I refuse to talk about. Okay, for this one, I'm going to turn the axolotl into Nemo. We'll start by getting rid of all these legs, and let's change the shape of his head and his body as well. Now we'll start coloring him orange, and now we'll add the white stripes on the outside. Now let's give him his little fins on the side. Now let's outline the white stripes in black, and we'll draw in this fin on the top as well. Now let's add some eyes, and now we can give him a smile. I'm actually going to change his eyes, and we'll put some eyelid type things above them. Okay, this looks strange. Let's just see it in game. Honestly, it doesn't look too terrible. I think he's supposed to be in water though. I realize now that Nemo is already in the game, so I'm sorry buddy, but there can only be one Nemo. I like how Nemo only went for that one fish and left the other ones alone. He's truly just asserting dominance. But as you know, they're supposed to be finding Nemo, so now I've got him locked up. Nemo is right there. Free him, other Nemo. I don't think that's how it happened. Okay, I'll free Nemo myself. Swim home, Nemo. Or just stay here. That works, I guess. Okay, I give Nemo an 8 out of 10. I'm kind of surprised with how he looked. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate, and we got Golden Scare. For this one, I think I am going to make Golden Freddy. First, I'll delete his back legs, then we'll add his bent legs, and now I'll give him an arm. We'll copy that over here. Now let's add some hands and some fingers, and we'll color him in gold. Now let's rotate his head, and we'll color it all gold. Now we can extend his mouth out, and put another part on the bottom, and we'll add some teeth. Now we'll add his nose, and we'll give him his top hat, and some ears, and now let's add his microphone, and we'll give his arms the animatronic look. Now we can give him his eyes and he'll touch up his face a bit more. That looks really good. Let's see it in the game. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. He should not be walking like that. Oh my god. I put way too much effort into the face compared to the body. It kind of looks like that horse. It kind of looks like he's riding a wheelchair, to be honest. Let's see a baby one. Oh yeah. Let's spawn a bunch of Freddies in this village and watch them run away from a cat. It's kind of ironic that a guy this scary is afraid of a tiny cat. This Freddy isn't though. Uh, I think you've got a problem there. He doesn't seem to care. More cats. Alright, let's watch a Freddy blow up. Amazing. Supercharged Freddy. It still has the shape of a creeper. Will we survive a supercharged Freddy with full netherite? Oh wow, that actually did a lot. I'm going to rate Golden Freddy a 9 out of 10. I'm honestly really happy with how his head turned out. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a wolf. What will we get? And we got Caterpillar. I think I'm going to make PJ Pugapillar from Poppy Playtime. Let's make his legs shorter and delete his body. Now we'll color this in purple. And I'll give him new legs like this. Actually, this one is supposed to be blue. Now we'll color this one purple. And we'll copy this back a few times. And we'll also copy his feet back too. Now let's color his face in. And we'll add his scary mouth. Now let's give him some eyes. And we'll add some teeth and color his mouth. Now let's give him his tongue. And we'll add his ears. Okay, so I read it his whole face. And I think this looks a lot better. I'm just going to fix his eyes. And that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Oh god, that is not supposed to happen. Okay, that's much better. I removed his walking animation, but it's going to have to do. Oh god, why is he phasing in the ground? Him moving like that is so scary. Time to tame one of my own. And now we'll see PJ versus Golden Freddy. Go after him. I punched him. Bad dog. Alright, now this is scary. This chicken better get out of here let's see them take out a fox they can't catch him he's emoting on them all right we have to do this oh my god freddy even joined in too all right i give pj a 7 out of 10 his model is really broken it's time for the next mob next i'm going to do a drowned translate 300 times and we got sharp claws okay for this one i'm going to make wolverine let's color him in yellow and we'll color in his arms now let's add some blue gloves and we'll give him his claws now let's add his red belt and we'll give him some shoulder pads now we can make his mask and we'll do his mouth area now we can give him some eyes and we'll color in his boots and now we can add the x on his belt this doesn't really fit so this is gonna have to do let's see him in the game okay i don't think that's supposed to happen 
Okay, that's a lot better. Wolverine versus the villagers. Who will win? Yo, these guys got tridents. Wait, why does this one have a fishing rod? This guy stands no chance the babies are going to get him. The baby has a trident? What? Good work, guys. As you can see, the baby turned out good too. I honestly think it looks better. Okay, the noise they make is disturbing. Will PJ fight Wolverine? Oh no, they're ganging up on him. They're going for the golem now. They can't be stopped. Why is he targeting the babies? And the iron golem wins. Alright, I give Wolverine an 8 out of 10. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translate. And we got tall pink. Alright, for this one, I'm going to make Kissy Missy. Let's color her fully pink. And we'll give her big hands. And some fingers. Now let's color that in yellow. Now we'll give her some feet. And we'll start shaping her head. Now we can start drawing her mouth. And we'll add her eyes. Let's put some eyelashes above. Now we can do her teeth. And finally, we'll add her blue bow. That looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that looks scary. And she's gone. She ended up looking very similar to Huggy Wuggy. I wonder why. Oh no. Staring contest. Who will win? She's holding a flower, but instead of using her hands, it's just floating in the air. Alright, let's check out the end. This might be scarier than when it was all Huggy Wuggies. Alright, it's time. This is terrifying. How long can I survive being chased by Kissy Missies? That's unfortunate. Why is the noise just getting louder? I give Kissy Missy a 9 out of 10. This is one of my favorite mobs yet. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin. What will we get? And we got Fox. For this one, I'm going to make Foxy. Let's delete all this. That looks so weird. Now we'll shrink his head, and we'll also shrink his legs and his arms. Now let's color him in red, and we'll color in his shorts. Now we'll make his legs gray, and we'll add his feet. Now we'll put his belly spot, and since he looks like he's falling apart, we'll just color part of him because I'm lazy. Now we'll make his hand floating because it looks kind of detached, and we'll make the hook on his other hand. Now let's start shaping his mouth, and we'll add his nose. Now let's give him some yellow teeth, and we'll add the hair on the side of his face. Now we'll make his eye patch, and we'll color in his other eye, and finally we'll give him some ears. That looks pretty good considering I did it all in 16x. Let's see it in game. Why is he shaking? Oh yeah, we have to go to the nether. Why is everything purple? There we go. He's even holding a sword with his hook. How talented. Let's see a baby one. I don't know why, but his head shape is reminding me of Manny from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Let's locate a bastion, and here we will find some foxies in their natural habitat. Let's see if he'll fight Freddy. Okay, you can obviously see who had more effort put into them. Let's spawn an army. Okay, how long can I survive? Oh god, I think I won. I don't think they can get me. Alright, I'm going back in. Oh god, Freddy, help me. You didn't see that. Alright, I give Foxy a 5 out of 10. He kind of looks like a mouse. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. Let's translate. And we got Steel Guy. Okay, I think it's obvious that I am going to make Iron Man. Let's color him in red. And we'll extend his mask out. Now let's color in his eyes. And I'll add some yellow to his arms. Next, we'll add the blue to his chest. And we'll extend part of his chest out as well. Now let's add some yellow to his legs. And we'll give him his blasters. And let's add some fingers and a thumb. And finally extend his feet out a bit. Alright, that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, where? Where did his arms go? Oh yeah, he needs to be attacking something for us to see them. Just use the blasters. Man's really getting embarrassed by a naked villager. Finally. Alright, it's time to go to work, boys. That's not Iron Man. The villagers don't even stand a chance. Iron Golem will take care of them. Never mind, he won't. Iron Man is just unstoppable. I give Iron Man a 6 out of 10. He needs arms. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate. And we got lightning. For this one, I think I'm going to make Pikachu. Let's color him fully yellow, and we'll make his nose black. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him his red cheeks, and a little pink mouth. Now let's shrink his ears a bit, and we'll color the top of them black. And now we can add his lightning bolt tail, and we'll move this there. That shape looks pretty good, now we just need to color it in. And we'll make sure the bottom of his tail is brown. That looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, he actually turned out pretty good. Look at the baby one, look how small he is. Pokeball test, why does it never work? Pikachu army, one fox could ruin it all. Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. Oh, what is he doing right now? I just can't believe how small the baby Pikachu is. It's like a mouse. I give Pikachu a 10 out of 10. I mean, how could you not? It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translate. And we got red web. Alright, I think I'm going to make Spider-Man for this one. Let's color him in red. Now we'll make his eyes. And we'll add a black outline. Now let's put some blue on his pants. And let's also add some blue to his arms. And we'll add blue to his body. Now let's draw the spider on his chest. Okay, that might be too big, but I think it looks good. I'm also going to edit his eyes a bit, and we'll make the red on his feet a bit higher. Alright, that looks good, let's see it in game. Yeah, that's basically what I expected. He basically just looks like a player skin on a skeleton. I don't think he can shoot webs either. 
He looks like a dude in a costume that you hire for a birthday party. Enough Spider-Man slander, can he beat PJ? He's just running away. Okay, he's not shooting webs, but I respect it. This is actually really close. And PJ wins it. Why was that actually a really good fight? PJ is going in for round two. They're at home now. Spider-Man army. It's kind of like that meme where they're pointing at each other. Alright, I give Spider-Man a 5 out of 10. He kind of sucked. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate. And we got an angry blue guy. Alright, I know exactly what to do. I'm going to make Squidward. I forgot villagers look like this when they're naked. Alright, let's make his legs skinnier. And now his arms. That looks so weird. Luckily, his nose is already perfect, so we just need to color him in. But first, I'll add some tentacle-like feet. Now he's fully blue or Squidward color, not really blue. And we just have to fill in his shirt. Then add the sleeves and the eyes with different color eyelids on top and reddish pupils. And now we will add a forehead line, not a unibrow. And finally, we put some spots on the top of his head on Almost forgot to add texture. That looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That looks so good. Let's find a village full of Squidwards. Open up. It's tax season. Wait, Squidward? Squidward must have finally quit the Krusty Krab. He's a farmer now. Okay, this is not okay. Baby Squidward, where's he gonna go? This reminds me of the episode where Squidward moves to like a Squidward only village. Wait, these guys got drip. All right, I give Squidward a 7 out of 10. I would use this over normal villagers. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? We got quick. This is perfect. I'm going to make Sonic. I'm pretty sure Sonic is a fox so this should be easy so first we'll make him all blue now we will fill in his face and his belly and now we can do the arms and now the rest of the face okay these eyes are a little bit weird but it should be fine now we add his gloves and we have to make his back legs different from his arms and we'll add his shoes and i think that's it let's see it in the game yo he's going crazy i'm not as happy with this one as squidward kind of looks like sonic from wish.com i'm not gonna lie let's see a baby sonic baby sonic honestly looks better all right sonic versus squidward who wins oh yeah they won't fight sonic versus dr eggman man well they lay eggs okay let's see if sonic can collect these rings no you're going the wrong way okay i will give sonic some berries i rate sonic a 2 out of 10 he kind of sucked not gonna lie on to the next mob the next mob is an enderman translate tall scary man well that basically is an enderman but i guess we could do huggy wuggy instead i've never played this game so i have no idea what this guy looks like but i think his head kind of spikes up like this and then he has big feet we have to make him fully blue and we'll color his hands and feet yellow and now we'll add some eyes okay that doesn't look right at all now we will add the smile. I put different eyes. They still don't look right though. And now we will add a bow and he has big hands too. Copy that over here. Change the eyes again. And we can add some spikes to his head. Okay, this looks like a scuffed Teletubby. Okay, I made some changes to the head and the face, and he looks a lot better now. I also gave him bigger hands, and now he looks completely different. Let's see it in the game. That looks pretty scary. Well, I'm not quite sure what Huggy Wuggy does. I would assume he doesn't extend his neck and run at you, but I think that makes him more terrifying. We have to go to the end and see this. There's so many of them. This is actually terrifying. This is actually where the portal in the deep dark takes you. But when you open a gum... Alright, I've had enough of these. I rated a 9 out of 10 though. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out especially after the first one on to the next mob the next mob is a chicken translate time okay this one actually kind of works i was going to do my own skin but i decided to do donald duck instead because donald duck has more drip okay we'll start by removing this we'll make the head a little smaller and now we'll add a hat okay this hat looks terrible now we'll drag the beak down and we'll draw the eyes let's make the beak orange and now we can add his shirt make sure that there are sleeves and we'll add the bow tie thingy in the front and finally the yellow stripe on his sleeves that looks better than i expected let's see it in the game okay Okay, it looks pretty good in game. Side by side comparison, who has more drip? What about Sonic versus Donald Duck? Sonic's going crazy. What does baby Donald look like? He's so small and he's following the big one. Let's take Donald to a shipwreck because he's a sailor or something. Not a very good one, obviously. The boat is underwater. I rate Donald an 8 out of 10. He's pretty good. Let's see if the next mob can top that. The next mob is a creeper. What do we get? We got Blackbird. Okay, I'm going to make the bomb bird from Angry Birds because that's kind of a creeper. Let's delete the body because birds don't have that and move the head down. Now let's make the legs smaller. Actually, we'll delete the back ones and try this. I'm not sure if it will break the animation. Now we'll make the head a bit bigger and we'll add a fuse thing to the top. Now let's add a beak and we'll color them all black with an orange beak and orange feet, a little orange on the fuse. Now we just need to do the eyes and we'll make him angry because he's an angry bird. Now we can color his belly and we'll make his pupils stand out a bit. That looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Dang, that looks pretty good. And the feet actually work. That's surprising. Yep, still blows up. I want to know what this looks like. Oh, that looks kind of weird. All right, let's see a baby one. Oh yeah, there's no baby creepers. All right, let's shoot him at some pigs. Oh, I missed. 
I will give him a 7 out of 10 because he doesn't work like a regular angry bird. Let's see the next mob. Our next mob is a cow. Translate. We got Nightwing. I've got an idea. I'm going to do Batman, but I'm going to make him a cow instead, so like bat cow. First, we will color his suit in gray. Then we will add the yellow belt. And now we can do the underwear. And we'll make his boots dark blue. Now we have to do the bat logo, which is going to be interesting. That looks alright. Now we have to give him a mask. And we'll leave his eyes and mouth peeking out like this. And now we have to add a cape. We'll drag this out a few. And now we will color his cape black. And we'll extend it out a bit on the edges and copy that to the other side that looks pretty good not gonna lie let's see how it looks in game that looks kind of sick but does he fight like batman nope this is some good batman steak though let's see a baby batman all right the texture is kind of broken but baby batman looks good too just gotta kill his parents kind of inspirational to be honest i can't believe they added the batmobile to minecraft i give bat cow a 7 out of 10 as well on to the next mob the next mob is an iron golem translate and we got hard shell this is perfect i'm going to make blastoise let's shorten his arms and remove this and drag his upper body down now we can delete the nose and add some ears now we can color him all blue and make kind of a shell now we will color the front of the shell and make the edges of the shell white now we will make the shell brown and we'll give him a chin and some eyes Let's add color to the ears, and now we can add his cannons on his back. Copy that over, and we'll make them both gray. I'm actually going to make his head shorter and more wide. Now we have to redo his face. Okay, this might be the worst mob yet. Let's see it in the game. Okay, Blastoise has seen better days. He's almost 30 years old though, to be fair. But can Blastoise defend the Squidward Village? He can. Well, kinda. I guess we just need to see if he can fit in a Pokeball now. It doesn't look like it. That also seems to have made him mad. Alright, I accept my fate. Let's put him where he belongs with his family. I give Blastoise a 2 out of 10. He just looks weird. Next mob. Next we are going to do a zombie. What do we get? We got Mushroom Man. Okay, I'm going to make Toad from Mario because he has a mushroom on his head. Alright, let's shrink the head and make the mushroom on top. Maybe it will look better when it's colored in. We'll make it white to start though. Next we'll fill in his skin and make his pants white as well. Now we can start the outline of his shirt and we'll fill the rest in with blue. Now we can do his mouth and eyes. Okay, he kind of looks like the epic face. We'll add spots on the mushroom. There we go. And finally, we will do his shoes. Alright, this might be worse than Blastoise. Let's see it in game. He also looks bad in game. But Toad is kind of small, so he will probably look better as a baby. Eh, I mean, it's a little bit better. Now let's see Toad as a giant. Oh, apparently giants are different. Now let's see 1000 Toads versus 1 Blastoise. I think it's clear who wins. Run Squidward. I give Toad a 0 out of 10. I would give lower if I could. Alright, let's move on to the final mob. The final mob is a ghast. Let's translate. And I got location. What can I even do? I actually have an idea for this. I'm going to make the earth. Well, the Minecraft one. I don't go outside. Alright, we'll color it like stone first. And now we'll add the dirt layer. Next, we'll add some grass to the sides and cover the full top. We'll also put a small lake on top and add a few trees. Now we can add the deep slate layer. And finally, we will put some black for bedrock. Now we just need to add a few ores. Diamonds, gold, iron, and some coal. The ores make it look worse, I think, but let's see it in the game. I realize now that this makes no sense. I made the gas the overworld when it should be the nether. Honestly, it looks so out of place in the nether. Well, at least the earth now shoots meteors at you, so it's like reverse dinosaurs or something. Let's see if we can get returned to sender. Nice. Honestly, they should just hire me to retexture all the mobs. I mean, this looks so much better, right? Alright, let's spawn a ton of earths. Alright, I give the earth a 5 out of 10. It could have been better. And that is the last mob, so please subscribe. I don't have an outro.